Hello everybody. Uh, am I? Wait. Hello. <laughs> oh, not again. Well, everything was going well until, until this. Hello everybody. Where am I? There we go. Koinichiwa, everybody. Koinichiwa. Uh, real quick, I guess. <laughs> my microphone sounds weird. Uh, if my microphone sounds weird, it's because I have my filter on. Um, I have the AC on again. It's really, really hot. I think it's a little bit quiet, so I think it breaks out. Yeah, 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 so it's like super hot and I have my AC on, so I have the filter on, which is why it'll sound kind of funny. Um, as we go through tonight, once it gets cool, I'll be able to go turn that off and then, uh, and then we'll be back to the usual monitor. But right now it's like super loud. Um, I hope it's good. I, I, I'm using a different filter. You can hear the cold air. AC's good. AC's doing a good job. Wait, can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it. Just eat your microphone. Oh my gosh. If I could, I would. <laughs> Sounds fine. Just a little background noise. Sounds good. Just you. Okay, okay. That's good. I'm currently using that NVIDIA broadcast, like, AI uh, thing. It claims to use AI to, like, uh, cut out the, the background noise. So hopefully it's not too bad. But yeah. All right, chat. Vinny, hello. Thank you so much for being a membership. Thank you for five months. It's been a good ride. Can't wait for more. I'd love to see it. Thank you so much for being a membership. Thank you. Thank you. Can't hear anything? Okay. Yeah, there's some like, like water, water sounds here. <laughs> oh, and I do have, um, I do have a new monitor. It's in my description right now. So I found a really nice monitor. Wait, let me see if I can find the, the thing. I sent it to the boys because I was like, wait a minute, this is actually a really good deal. Uh, where is it? Let me see. The monitor that I decided to get was... Wait, let me see, can I find it? Oh my god, we, did, we were doing a lot of chatting and talking, so... Yeah. Uh, it's the Acer Nitro. That's the one, um, XZ270, that's the one. So it's pretty, it's like really cheap. So or like comparatively due to the, due to the sale, it's like really cheap for what it is. So I am looking to get that. I don't know when it'll arrive a couple of days or so, but once it does, people go swap it out. Uh, Kira Kira, hello. Thank you so much for being the membership of Koidi. Of oh, Koidi, thank you, thank you. Lots of good budget friendly monitors. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, I, I don't know how to, what, what would I like expect of it because I haven't used a monitor that has 240 hertz, but it was, it's affordable for my price range. I was actually looking to just replace the one that's broken, the one I'm looking at right now. But, uh, I figure I might as well go a little bit more than that. It's over 50%, right? It's over, it's a huge sale. It's a, it's like a really big discount. So I want to take advantage of it. I don't know what 240 Hertz looks like though. My brain is, my eyeballs and my brains are not prepared for it. No broken monitor now. Yes, it's finally gone. <laughs> Miki, thank you so much for the super chat. So to the old monitor, 07's in chat. 07's in chat. Thank you for the super chat. Spiel. Uh, sp spiel? Spiel. Thank you so much for being the membership. Oh, Koidi. Wow. <laughs> it was, it's, it's going to be weird. It's been a while since I have, like, purchased a new, new monitor so 
Fanny Bunch. Thank you so much for the membership. Are you going to have a Viking funeral for your old monitor? I would love to, but um, it the fumes are pretty bad, so I'm probably just going to take it to like the e-waste recycling drop-off uh, here in Elysium, and hopefully they'll be able to handle it without any toxic fumes. <laughs> Mitzi, O'Kwady. Oh, Keep forgetting these glad to hear your game new module old one served you well, but it's a good change. It's finally gone. Like it's finally done now, like two years, I think. Almost two years at this point. But yeah. Thank you so much for being a bit of share. Alright, chat. Today we're gonna try to finish Dredge. I don't know where we left off, but we're gonna try to finish the entire thing today. Or not today, uh today and tomorrow. Um I think it's a little, a tad bit loud. Let's see if I can adjust that a little bit. Uh, that okay. The dials. The dials do nothing. Wait, I want to see if I can figure out. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. Wrong way. Wrong way. There. Oh, James! Thank you so much for re-upping the membership. And Kizuhara Quabs, thank you so much for re-upping the membership as well. Thank you, thank you, Okoidi. Uh, I just want to make sure. Get it. Yeah, this dial. I just want to make sure it's the right dial. What's your favorite way of eating crabs? Mm. I'm not actually too sure. I don't eat crabs that often, but there's this like one style of uh oh, sorry about that. Uh there's like one type of crab where like you mix it with rice. Uh like you get the crab body, you put some like soy sauce in there, and then you like mix it with rice, and then you eat it that way. I've seen that. That looks pretty tasty. Uh, but I don't eat crab that often. So, yeah. <laughs> Traveling Merchant says... Oh. <laughs> Antigone Okoidi. Uh, making broken homeless form from merch. The 11.0. Thank you so much for the super chat. Glad you finally upgraded your monitor. Spoil yourself now and then, mister. Hope to catch up on the Q... Cute ghost VOD later this month in my recovery period after surgery. Comfy ghost vibes are healing. Love to hear that. I hope you recover soon. Please recover soon. Thank you so much for the super chat. But yeah, let's go, chat. Ooh. It's it is truly a momentous occasion where I finally go and replace my monitor. <laughs> All right. Have you eaten snow crabs? No. Not to my knowledge, at least. If I have, then... Uh, if I have, I don't remember. You sound like you caught a cold? It's just the microphone? Oh, it's the filter, unfortunately. The AC is on in my room, and it's really loud, so... I have the AC on. Yeah. Traveling Merchant says, Say, have you met the photographer? She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. Loaded up with a fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. She sighs wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Whoop. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> I forgot to set my phone to silent. Okay, sorry about that. Chat. <laughs> I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? You'd never forget everything. You never forget anything. Anyway, she was setting up the small island to the south of the Marrows. If you're in the area, maybe you should check on her. Ooh, alright. Uh, let's... Uh, you're gonna have to give me, like, a little bit. I wanna have to, like, re... Reacquaint myself with the game, because it's been a while. <laughs> alright, let's see. Research parts. We have two research parts. Okay. So researching this is not actually getting it. 
but it allows us to buy it. Right? Pots and nets? Yeah. We want to get to this crap button over here. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. We have two engines to make us go super fast. Spotlight, hydraulic rod. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, some books we need to finish reading. Oh, that's right, the different types of fishes that we can catch. Oh, and the spooky aberrations. Oh, I remember these now. Okay, okay. All right, cool. Let's see. What relics have we found? Can we see? Search for relics. We have found the key and returned it to the collector. We have to find the music box, ring, necklace, and the watch. And they're each in different little spaces. All right, let's see. A place to rest, lumber scrap, catch rare fish. Deliver the rotting conger eel. Okay, okay. Think I'll start to understand. Let us undock. It's been a while, hasn't it, chat? I unharmonically like them chatting merchants as a character. She's hearing about all these strange stuff in the water, but she's like, hey yo, I get around too, so holler if you need me. Aw. <laughs> um Yeah, mini games. Wait. Nice. Okay, I'm starting to understand. I really remember. I remember. I remember. More fish. Woo. I think, for the most part, what we can do is focus on the story parts here, because I think we have... Wait. Abbott, Encyclopedia. Oh wait, we've already done this. Okay. Let's head back home. I want to check in on the crabs and see what happens. Uh... No, no. Get to the crabs. Oh, there we go, the lighthounds. Oh, and we can, like... <gasps> That's right. Sorry, chat. This is going to take a little bit for me to get used to everything again, but we'll be back to fishing in no time. I love a bit of them being identical except for different tools and settings and you go to the different shops. Ooh. So we actually haven't gone to too many places yet. Oh, check Kevin for bonuses. Yeah, the last one. 10% resistance to panic. The biggest load of rubbish I've ever read. It goes on and on about breathing exercises and controlling your heart rate, as if it could help me. Ooh. Alright, let's start reading this one. I think, if I remember, we wanted to make sure that we had a whole bunch of crabs, uh, like crab baskets? Crab... What are they called again? Crab traps? <laughs> it's been a while since chat but we have a whole bunch of crab traps that we need to go and like empty out yep, go crab pots there we go hip hip ray thank you so much for the, the, the membership don't know how you do it but somehow easier to handle my fears of open water when you play so call me thank you, thank you. Come on, see. of course of course thank you so much for re-upping the membership hip hip ray. thank you thank you see rose the crabs. Oh no, the Crab King has returned. So happy to see you to the station. Yeah. I'll do my best to try to finish it this week. Um, pick up. And then the reason why I want to finish it this week is I want to open up my schedule for everything else that's going to happen. So we have to go back and forth and drop off all our fish, or I guess crabs. Kimmy, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. Get some hearts and chat for Kimmy and the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Did you get the new mantra yet? No, I just ordered it, so it'll be a couple of days before it shows up. 
Fisherman, have you run into the photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggest that she takes pictures of our town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps she should introduce herself. Ooh. All right, we're going to sell all the fish. Yeah. And then after we sell the fish, we go into storage and we're going to drop off all these crab pots. Undock. Ooh. Now we go up here and then we scoop up all the stuff here. <laughs> take all. Scoop. Pick up. Take all. Go oh, the crabs. Alright. It doesn't look a pot. I think it's just called a pot. But that's okay. Sell all the fish. And then we take these two pots here. Toss them away into our storage. Got some space. I wish we had more inventory space, but I think we get those with bigger... Bigger, uh, ship holes. Pick up, and pick up, pick up, pick up. Yeah. So many crabs. <laughs> we have so much money, chat. Look at that. Almost $600 just on crabs. Oh my gosh. Can we expand the space? I think we can, but we just need to go get some upgrades first. There's a lot of resources and materials that we have to collect before we're able to upgrade. And I remember that being one of the things that we were trying to do last time. Oh, ooh, a trophy craft. Go. Oh. Now that I think about it, this is kind of a week with fishing with Salonika. Yeah. We did do a lot of uh, fishing themed or like ocean themed games. And then we just kind of got stuck in it, and now we have to finish them all. <laughs> Dock. Scoop forward, and let's take up all the crabs. Delicious crabs. Right? One last time, let's sell all of our crabs. Then we're going to go grab them into our storage, take a few out. Is there a way to, like, throw... Oh, middle click. Yeah. And now we go to, I believe, the, uh, the shipwright. And then we repair it all, right? Yeah. Look at that. Let's go. And then because we're lazy and for some reason the, the type of crabs being the same, uh... Wait, how do we how do we use crabs again? E. Crab pot. <laughs> I can't believe this actually works, but we'll go for it. Alright. So while the crabs are crabbing, let us go and find Abin Pursuits. We need to find some lumber. And we need to find some rare fish. And the family crests on Gale Hill. Gale Cliffs? Gale Cliffs. Alright, let's see. Where's Gale Cliffs? Down here. I think we do need to go find the Conger Eel somewhere around there. So, let me, wait, let me just check real quick. Conger Eel. Encyclopedia... Uh, Gale Clips. There we go. Um, did we ever get a description of what the conger eel was like? I don't remember, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, this must be the conger eel. It looks like an eel. Uh, it comes out at night time, so like right here it says comes out at night. We don't know how much it costs, and we haven't found a trophy yet, but we need a rod that reaches into shallow depths. So do we have one? 
Do we have a shallow, coastal shallow? <gasps> we do! Let's go, chat. We do have one. Ah. Let's go switch out the power to... I swear it's not a spoiler, the lady said it when she gave you the quest. It's at nighttime or something, but we just confirmed that, but yeah. Alright, let us... Oh. Time has already passed, it's nighttime. I don't think we'll get there in time, but we have to avoid like the spooky stuff in the middle of the oceans. I hear dolphins, but oh, spooky red thing. Yeah, we're almost there, we're almost there. <gasps> I see the pontoon! Traveling merchant's pontoon! Oh. <laughs> Wait. Hey. Let's go dock here and rest for a day, real quick. Till morning, just to be able to like regroup or like recoup my memories and refresh them. But I don't remember anything about this place. Mm. Let's go. Oh, that's right. We need to find some explosives for that. Whatever happened to that one? Do we ever get the pursuits? Catch a rare fish, family quest, search for relics. Um, I remember there was like a brother that we had to talk to and convince them to give us some explosives to blow up those rocks. So let's see if I can refresh my memory on that. Go talk to them and see where we are. That story. Ah, there we go. The retired whaler. Where is he? Uh, I heard you used to make explosives. Aye, I did. Sometimes the carcasses need breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the most pleasant, but they got the job done. I were thinking about getting back into it. We might be able to rustle up something strong enough to clear those debris piles in the cliffs. The energy these days. I'd have use for explosives like that. The gun is some more. But it ain't no promises. Oh, that's right. We never really figured out what uh, what he wanted. Hmm. We never really figured out what he wanted, despite um, or just letting him know, like, hey, we could use those explosives. But then we never really got an answer. Ooh. Let's go, Dredgy. Uh, oh, up and down, okay. <laughs> it's been a while, chat, I've forgotten these controls. Let's get some lumber. Wait. And then... Even more lumber. Right. I think what we'll do is we'll save the lumber because we need two of them at the very least for one of the quests so we'll save those for now and then let's do a little bit of exploration around here I remember the last time I came out here there was like a Ooh. I remember the last time we came here there was like a big monster that would circle around the area uh oh this is the scrap stuff isn't it Wait. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I have. Wait, I can make space. There we go. We have enough space space for one more. Woo. 
<laughs> it's a research part. What? Let's go. I'll take that. Wait. Scrap metal. All right. And look at that chat. Perfect timing. It's already dark. But I'm going to go ahead and drop off all this stuff first. So that we don't lose it. Or risk having it damaged. Uh, my storage. Toss all of that back inside. Toss those in there. Research part inside. Thanks. Do the RE4 ask inventory system running? It's really cool. Okay. I feel like I should get something. I feel like I should get like upgrades for with the light. It's really hard to see anything. Now we swim around. We try to find the the eels. Old impact. Thank you so much for the gifted membership. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get some hearts in chat for the gifted membership? Thank you, thank you. We got how pretty this game looks. There's some more. Uh, do we need wood? I guess we can take the wood. We'll just take the wood while we're here anyway. Nice. More wood. So foggy, it really is. <laughs> Do you like survival games? Um, if they're like the right, if they have the right vibe, I'm down with survival games. I really like survival games that have a good vibe to them, and it's really difficult to explain. Um. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the one. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Survival horror? Survival horror is good. They have to do it right, though. Because they know a lot that... Uh, a lot that do it very poorly. Uh, get, get inside. There we go. Get yarn. Get hair. Alright, Jack, give me just a moment. I'm gonna go turn off my AC real quick. <laughs> then. Okay. Alright, so the reason why I want to turn off the AC is because it's actually like really loud and it's, I don't know why, but the noise is making it very difficult for me to focus on anything. I, I just have one of those brains where if I have like that loud humming of the fan behind me, it just makes it very difficult, even if it is like too hot. But yeah, your voice got really quiet. Is it too quiet? Uh oh. Is it because the filter is still on? Test, test, hello? Am I am I still too quiet now? Probably the consequence of the filter, yeah, unfortunately. Alright, there we go. So the reason why I turned it off is because if I have it on uh, the loud noise actually makes it very difficult for me to concentrate. So, I don't know. It's it's really difficult to focus when I have things on. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna pop out and then get back around the cliff sides. Alright. I like survival horror. I think, like, Resident Evil does it pretty well. Uh... I had a lot of fun with Resident Evil 7, and then I think Resident Evil 4 was pretty good too. 
I think I just... The thing that I don't like about it is... Um... Oh. Uh-oh. It's still here in the morning? Uh-oh, it's still coming, it's still coming. <laughs> go, 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 go. Ooh. What would be a good survival horror for me? I want, like... I guess... Oh, wait, is this still chasing me? Oh, it is, it is. Ooh. No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If it's chasing me, does that mean I can follow it and be completely safe? Like, it can't turn around, can it? I don't think so. Ow. All right, let's go dredge some of the stuff real quick. Real quick, be sneaky and take some items out of the ocean while the monster is still circling around. Yeah. QPG, hello. Thank you so much for yipping the membership, Okoidi. Welcome, welcome. And am I late? I just woke up. No, you are not late. We pretty much just started. We. I'm really bad at these mini games, chat. I can't focus. <laughs> it's too hot to focus. Wait, is there more? Oh, there's more. Ooh. It's too hot to focus when my AC is off, and when I, my AC is uh, on, it's too loud to focus too. Oh, what are these? <gasps> Ooh. Yummy Neko, thank you so much for the super chat. What if something not crab looks not a crab looks like a crab in an unsettling way? It would be uncanny. Un oh <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Yummy Neko. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. It took me a while to understand that. <laughs> we found it, chat. We found the family crest. Well, one of them. Let's see if we can... I don't really want to be here at the moment. It's too foggy to see anything, so let's just slowly make our way back out around. And then repair ourselves. Our ship. Be very... <gasps> Ooh, cloth. I know I needed cloth. Wait. All right, chat. I have a question for chat. Um, I guess in the future, would chat rather watch me when it like when it comes to streaming these games, especially given the fact? Oh, no. <laughs> Reload last save. Um, especially coming to games like these, I was wondering, would chat... Oh, we have all this stuff. Okay, good. We gotta go get the crest again now. Um, would you rather... Where? Would chat rather watch me, like, play one game and finish it all the way through in a single week? Or is something like this okay? Um, in, in like, you know, starting and stopping or like doing multiple games in a week. Because for me, I think I worry about games being too long. Like if I were to go through Subnautica, I, I would end up just kind of playing only Subnautica for like a solid two weeks plus. But at the same time, it would also avoid a lot of these. I don't have, I have not played in a while, so I had to like spend time getting used to the game again, kind of. Either is a gay, multiple, multiple games in the week. Spread out's good. Don't mind either way. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to think about it, chat. 
I think... Hmm. I think for, like, moving forward, I do want to try to see if I can get through the entire game in a single go. So if I play games like Fatal Frame, um, I want to see if I can get the entire thing finished and put away without having to go back and forth. I kind of want to try that, see how that goes. Because right now we've been kind of uh, bouncing around a bit. Couple of days look at No, that was a boop. No <laughs> That wasn't a crash, that was just a boop. That's not fair. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, we gotta go to a spicy boop. <laughs> I see multiple, not too many, you'll remember how to do maybe one main game. I don't know if I've had a main game. Maybe I should find a main game. Huh. Oh, that's the one we need cloth for. Okay, okay. No, oh, wrong button. Minecraft is main? Is it Minecraft the main one? <laughs> Alright, uh, my storage. Okay, we're gonna put all these away. Let me organize this a little bit. I am actually kinda sad that we lost all that cloth, because we don't have that much cloth to begin with. Cloth is kind of hard to come by. Hmm. Two streams being long games, rest being scattered. See, this is why I want to go back to streaming many, many games, or like many, many times in a week, just so that I can distribute those a lot easily. Alright, undock. Gotta go swing around the back of the island to find that gold family crest again. It's your choice. Mm. Oh, big rock. <gasps> Wait, is that claw? No, that's scrap. But there could be research points. Depends on the style and the interest level. Hmm. I'll try to think about a way around it and see how I feel. Um, I'll give it a shot though. I want to see what it's like just to change it up because so far what I've been doing... What we have been doing is doing multiple games here and there. So I'd like to try out just doing one game at a time and finishing them all one by one. I want to give that a shot. See how that feels. Gimster, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I will read it in a bit. Let me... I have to Tetris real quick. There we go. Uh, let me... Oh no. Oops. There we go. Uh, seeing you play this reminds me of fishing days while pulling up our halibut line by hand on our 30 foot boat something towed our boat never found out what it was deep waters can be scary oh that's kind of spooky like a giant underwater turtle oh no a turtle that would like come underneath your boat and then just like carry you away oh Probably a sailfin. Aren't those fish? The world turtle. <laughs> That's just scrap. We don't need that. <gasps> Ooh, what is that? Ninth of September, nineteen twenty-seven. September 9th, 1927. He still refuses to take me aboard when he's working. He's convinced that I'll find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm being overly needy. I know he needs time alone. But I am so desperately bored of home when he's away. He's really recently installed some salvaging equipment to the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasures incredibly is terribly exciting. 
I must convince him to let me have a go. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's right. There's a whole log. These are all like diary messages. Today, the second day of our honeymoon, the first day proper. <gasps> okay, so... Whoever he is gets convinced to let... Uh... <gasps> oh, okay, okay. He renamed the boat Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took it more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to understand. Let us go try and see if we can find more pieces of the diary. I don't know the full story yet, mostly because it's been a while and I don't remember it. But also partly because we just don't have all the pieces yet. So we have to go collect them all. Alright. Ooh. I don't need wood, but... This one, <gasps> jewelry. Let's go. I hope that spooky thing doesn't come out of nowhere again. Uh oh. Oh wait, no, it's going the other way. Okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. A dead wife is involved. I'm. Okay, so like my thoughts so far, from what I remember, is that there's like the collector guy who is asking us to dredge up these artifacts and stuff. Um, and told us about how they all have like very important value to him. And I remember saying that I'm pretty sure this is all like stuff about his dead wife. He is the person that's being referenced in all these diary entries. And his wife is dead. And now he's doing this spooky stuff here. With the... The spooky things. To bring his wife back. An altar breaks through the waves at the base of the cliff. Three crab-like creatures are carved into it. The largest is covered in rocks and other strange shapes. <sighs> we need crabs. We need crabs. We need three crabs, I think, because there's three crab shapes. All right. Let's go see if we can find that family crest again. Uh, it should be somewhere around here. All right, and once we grab it, we'll pop out. Crab Nation. <laughs> there it is, there it is. Alright. We'll scoop this up. Uh-oh. <gasps> okay. Is it still following? Okay, it's still following. It's still following. Oh my god, okay, we have to go, we have to go. So we'll we'll swing around the other side. In the, and then we'll come back here in the morning when we don't have to when we don't have to worry about that thing uh, coming in and attacking us Ugh. oh no wrong way Dredge it, dredge, 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 dredge. Ignore the voices. Family crest. Okay, go, 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 go. Thank you for the super chat. I will, I will get to it real quick after I get back into some safety. Whoa. No. <laughs> I forgot even the slightest of boops can cause damage. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Oh, I also forgot that was a mechanic. Invisible rocks at night popping up. I forgot about that. Okay. We can take one more hit. So... We should be okay. 
right? I think so. We can swim around the outside where it's a little safer. And then make our way all the way around back to the floating pontoon. <sighs> nice. The lights went out, but it's okay because we don't need it. Where? All right, let's go dock real quick and repair our boat. Safe. Let go. <laughs> Gamester, thank you for the super chat. I live at the mouth of a channel that leads to the ocean. Heard a few stories of giant squid in our water, so it could have been that. Also, have whales, so that could have been another culprit. Ooh. That would have been cool. Whales? Nice. Thank you for the super chat. And go. Okoidi. Since it seems relevant, favorite crab dish. It's the crab dish with the one with the ice. Or the. the sorry, not the ice. Uh, the rice. You like. Do you. You get the crab shell and then like all the crab meat on the inside and you mix it with rice. That's the that's the only like crab dish I know of other than like eating crabs just straight. But yeah. Alright, storage. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, I remember there was a thing that we could use it for. It was a floating deck. Can I go ahead? Oh, yeah. Let's go put some of this here. Put some of that here. Cloth in here. And then we need one more cloth. This one requires wood. Wood. Scrap. Uh, oh, yeah. Storage. And then scrap. Yeah. The only thing we need is cloth, which is why I remember being a little bit sad that we dropped that cloth and had to restart because we lost a little bit of that. All right. Engine spot. That's kind of small, just like a little extra square, but I guess it'll add up over time. Okay. While we are here, show the family crest of the hermit. Met a hermit living out on the rocks of Gilcliff. Everything around him was crumbling down. Fell out with his brother, a whaler at Ingfell. I wonder if I can repair. I must find it. Take the... Probably some teacher to get to the cliffs. Up against the rocks at Gilcliffs. Okay. Since we are already here, let's go deliver it to him. The true horror is inventory management. Yeah. Is it this hermit, or is it the other one? It might be the other one. We'll, we'll check both. Retired whaler? Uh, does not look like it. Okay, it must be the other one. Let's go. Do, 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 do. I wonder how many days has it been? Oh, we should sleep, actually. And then... Hermit. There we go. Hello. Okay, hold up. This is an older, like... Uh... I forget. I don't know what the voice I did for any of these were. <laughs> Hello again. What can I do for you? I have your... Thing. Shipwrecks? What's happening on the cliffs? How do I give it to him? Need to have it in your inventory. Oh my gosh. But my storage is right here. Alright, let's go take out the crest. Put this here. Go that way. Alright. Is this your family crest? You found it! I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now, I have a further favor to ask. Would you take this to my brother at Ingfell? Tell him, tell him his brother is sorry and would like to come home. Oh. All right, let us go. The red eye. 
Yeah. Seen some stuff. Alright. Still need sleep just like me, for real, for real. I believe this crest is yours? Gods, I haven't seen this since. Hmm. So he did take it. I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? Hmm. I don't know if... That was in the right state when he left. Okay, fine. You can stay at my old workshop. At least for the time being. I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways to the cliffs to make a shortcut. With explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. And you just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? <gasps> Alright, now we get to go. Explode things. It's gotta be the one over there, right? Hmm. Yellow flags. Yellow flags. Alright, let's go find some yellow flags in the in the water. Uh whoop. The camera, please. Camera, please. It's already difficult to maneuver, but it's even harder when the camera is not having fun. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, there it is. A loose pile of debris. The gas between the rocks you can see what appears to be large white teeth. There's a long fuse trailing out from the side. This must be the location the whaler wants cleared out for a shortcut. Like the fuse? You like the fuse? Ah! <gasps> Ooh! Nice. The debris crumbles away. You should let the whaler know. Alright. Now that this is cleared, I wonder if they will also have explosives ready for us by the time we get back. Ooh. You have such an aversion to sleeping in games. This is true. I just want to be productive. I want to be able to do things. You've done it. I heard a blast from here. God's the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go tell my brother th that he can come home. I like how we have to play this kind of messenger thing. They don't have telephones or email or anything. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and park here. And then talk to the hermit. Hello again. What can I do for you? Your brother forgives you. He's found you a place to stay. He does? That's a huge weight off my chest. Once so old, I hardly remembered it was there. Right, well, I'm packed and ready to go. <gasps> Wait, he becomes a cargo pack? Aww. The hermit climbs aboard with all his belongings. Let's go. I find it funny you can just put people into your inventory. Yeah. Ask the aren't having you really message to each other when they're like five feet apart. <laughs> oh my god, I remember doing that a long time ago. Playing messenger between two friends who are in an argument. Oh my gosh. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock, waiting for him. Little brother, you're home. I... I'm so sorry. I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside. Let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger. If you find any more debris that needs clearing, 
I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the World Wailing Yards anytime. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. There. This is on the house. For all your help. Ooh. Hollowed out whale teeth packed with a powdery substance. Fused close from the top. Ah. <gasps> Ooh. I hope you can put them to good use. Wherever you find a cause for it. Ah. <gasps> Ooh. Let's go buy a few. I don't think we need too many, but... This is nice. Man. I'm trying to think, like, what it would be like to... I don't know, like, be... Have, like, that kind of... Relationship, I guess, with a sibling. Where you're just not really spending time with each other. You, you think you've, like, broken your relationship. And then that many years down the line, finding a chance to be able to get back together like that. Alright, let's go use the explosives here. Boom. And now this. I wonder what that could be. It looks like it has a little handle, a little winding crank. The music box. Let's go. Oh, that's a chunky one. That's pretty big. I get a chance to mend old relationships, right? Especially knowing that you you never know if you will ever actually get that chance, you know, because you don't know how things will end up. Not everyone really gets the chance to have the opportunity to like make it up with your your old friends or family. Let's go ahead and rest a bit. All right. And now, I don't want to risk losing the explosives, but I do want to have them on hand for something later on. So we'll go put these away. And then let us go deliver the rusted music box over. Is this the update? I'm. If there was an update, I don't know about it because I have not played this game in a while. <laughs> if I remember, it was right here, wasn't it? In Little Marrow, it's like across from the Greater Marrow. All right, let's head back. Just gotta push the engine as close as it can get. Depends on if you want that chance. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes, even though you may want to, you know, or maybe someone else may want to, but then you don't want to. And that's okay too. Life can be messy like that sometimes. Oh, wait, wrong way. This way. I think that board is new. Don't remember it last time. The board? I'm not sure which board. Not gonna lie, I got a little panicked how close you were to exploding the engine there. <laughs> Okay, let's go grab some wood before we head out. Because since we're here, we might as well go also... Uh, we might as well also go and... Deliver the wood to that lady who wanted to build a new house up in the Northern Islands. Because we were harvesting some stuff for her. Alright. Here we go. Trader storage. Wait. Wait, no, this is not the right place, is it? Grieving father, dock worker? No. Oy. Hang on, I don't remember. Was it Blackstone Isle? Oh yeah, it was that one. Okay, now I remember. <laughs> Let's go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, now here is the collector. The guy that looks like a... Was it? 
His hands. It's his hands. His hands were really big. Yeah. So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You dragged the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. <gasps> Ooh. You found us at the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Ah, excellent. This should make you this should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the ribbons trailing from the crimson bound book, opening to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown by a high thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Ah, <gasps> ooh. Manifest? Return instantly back home? Now, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. The reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. And mark a look. I'll mark a. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book. What did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Is there a particular you wish you know about? How does this work? Use these words will using the use of these words will induce a trance like state. While in this state, time will pass in the blink of an eye. When it is over, you will find yourself here. As always, I caution against overusing this. Selectively and strategically utilize it when you need it most. Okay. It doesn't sound like there's a drawback. Is there a drawback? Hmm. Okay, wait, let me check. Teleport yourself back to where it all began. I don't know. Don't mess with Eldritch powers too much. <laughs> Let's see. The drawback is the friends we made along the way. Cabins. Pursuits. Place to rest. I need to deliver the following materials to Steel Point. Two lumber. Two lumber. Perfect. Let's go to Steel Point. Just lowers your sanity. Drawback was the... Usually does at least have one for knee powers. Maybe. Messing with the Eldritch power results in whatever happens during preach. <laughs> I hope it's not the, too bad, because I, I feel like I want to abuse that a lot. We don't have to like swim all the way back. Forever left in a trance-like state. Oh no. There we go. Material pile. Let's go deliver some wood. Perfect. Delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. Undock. I can only think about ever using it if I'm like already damaged and injured and then uh, I'm like being attacked actively by those monsters again. But then aside from that, I should make sure that we can see the light so that no suspicious ghost rocks can attack us. Alright. And, since we're back here, we might as well go ahead and start farming our crabs again. The lighthouse keeper was waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? What's the problem? It feels a bit like tempting fate, does it not? Things are bad enough around here without your provocations. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. Hmm. You've done it. Well, no sense wasting time. Let's get moving. Good riddance to you, Greater Mera. I'm onward bound. 
All right, let's go deliver the builder to Steel Point. The last time we talked to the lighthouse keeper, it sounded like she knew old friends who maybe had also used similar powers. Because the last time, I remember she mentioned that when she heard our engine making that noise while using haste, she was like, oh, I, I thought your, your boat sounded like that of my old friend. So I wonder what happened to her friend and why they also had that power, you know? Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to build things here. You're welcome back any time. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. Oh, research points. Let's go visit sometime later. Ooh. All right, let's watch out for the spooky and then get back home. And then we will open up all the crab boxes. And then... Uh, sorry, chat, my brain's not working anymore. It's starting to get too hot in my room again. <laughs> this truly is suffering. I have to... Wait. Okay. Oh! Look at that. Look at that. That's so many crabs. Oh my god. Okay, we can't sell all the crabs, though. Oh my god, that's so many crabs. Yeah. Okay, and... Ooh. We don't have any space. Gotta find a way to start uh, using up all that material. Uh, where was the one? Dry dock. Let's go. Oh, common error, people. Current Eldritch shenanigans. Yeah, going going mad with the the Eldritch stuff. Here, let's go look for that cotton first. That little bolts of cotton, and then that should give us enough space after we get upgrade that. Garrett Lestrade, hello, thank you so much for reaping the membership. Oh, Quady, thank you, thank you. Uh, we should be fine. I kind of want to swim all the way out to. Twisted Strand, Devil Spine, Stellar Basin. I kind of want to go back here because I know, like, around this area in the back, there's a ton of, like, scrap piles. So I want to go get those. One of those has to be Bolts of Cotton. So, ah. So hopefully we can find one when we get there. Every time Shinri says we should be fine, I brace myself. <laughs> I don't have that kind of luck. Unfortunately. What do we need the cotton for? Oh, there's one upgrade that we need at the, the, sh the dry dock, I believe. And once we get it, we'll be able to get uh, clear up some space by using up some of the materials for upgrades. All right, so if we swing around the edges, not inside the, the cliff maze, but like around the edges, I remember there being quite a few, whoa. I remember there being quite a few areas where they had some cotton and scrap. Oh, oh it's a scrap. Oh, wait, no, there it is, there it is. Perfect. Let's go. It's exactly what we were looking for. And we're not going to risk it. We're just going to go and just go back home. <gasps> Whoa. 
Whoa. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Like your ship like breaks apart into like Eldritch fog. And then you reappear back here. That's so cool. Yodu Panda, Okoidi. Thank you for being with the membership. Welcome back. Welcome back. I see you rocking the gold Koi badge. Let's go. Cool. Dry dock. Let's put the cotton in here. And now we can finally upgrade this. Perfect. Alright. Now we can start opening up some space by dropping in extra upgrades here. Got some wood there. Got some metal scraps. And now we need refined metal and bolts of cloth. Which we will have to eventually get. But for now, at least this way, we have opened up some space. Yeah. At first, I thought it was a trick to make me explode my boat. <laughs> Always happened. Wonder what happens to the atoms during teleportation. Lots of fun things, but they're not very. Uh, I hear it's very painful. Is what I'm saying. All right, let's see. We have six parts. That's a lot. What can we get with it? Twin propeller engine. Oh, we should get these like super fast ones, right? A relatively new engine design propels water more efficiently. Nine knots. Hmm. <gasps> Hello, Akitos. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you had a wonderful stream. I think what I could do is we can oh that's right we got like an upgrade it's pouring <gasps> let's go I love the sound of rain I love the sound of rain love you ah thanks Haka <laughs> wait 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 we can get the we can get this big crab pot Should we do it? I think 3 by 4 5 by 5 I want to do it. I want to do it. Let's get the let's get the 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 big crab pot. But okay, we're not going to buy these two. So we're not going to buy these two. Instead, we're going to save up for this one. And now we just need one more to unlock it. You can see the the last gear here. Lasts for 8 days. Are we on a like, mission to catch all the crabs? No, the reason why I'm doing this is because it's easy to have um, the crabs go around and kind of collect themselves into the crab pots. And all we have to do is come back and just scoop them up while the whole time we're actively going around and doing some quests. Alright. Sell all the crabs. Go back into storage, and then we're gonna drop in the crab boxes here. They say we can open up space in our inventory for crabs, while also keeping them saved up so that we can go replace them, get that fixed in one go. Perfect. What about the crab statue? Don't we need crabs for that? We do need a few crabs for that, so we'll save a few. Make sure we don't sell them all. Okay. All right, now let's grab these. Big crab, big and small crab, all the crabs. We can play some Tetris with the crabs. Yeah. All right. Do we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know how many crabs we have. We'll see how many crabs we need. All right, chat, let us go. I think the big thing is like we can't teleport back to the places, so that's a little annoying. Um, it, it still takes us a while to like drive all the way out there. 
Maybe I should have gotten that up engine upgrade just to go a little bit faster. Ventus, thank you so much for yipping the membership. Hi Shinri, I'm currently working on a Hololife fan game JRPG. I was wondering, what would you like for your area in Elysium? It's a pixel style. What would I like for my area? Yeah, JRPG. Uh... Oh my goodness, that's actually really difficult. Oh no. I'm thinking to myself, like, maybe... Uh... Like a nice wooden house with like an open space in the middle with a koi pond. It's the only thing I can really think about at the moment. Something nice, you know, something nice and casual that people can hang out, chill, sit down. Not too much furniture, I suppose. But something like that. Also, Okoidi, thank you for re the membership. Thank you, thank you. Ah, the crabs. The altar breaks the way, breaks through the ways at the base of the cliff. Three crab-like creatures are engraved upon it. So I guess we have to put crabs into it? Like that? Done? Or... It says three crab-like creatures. Hmm... Does it have to be exactly three crabs? Or maybe, or is it asking for like the, the anomaly crabs, the aberrations? Uh, I think, yeah, I think it might be the mutant crabs, because it's... Is it? Let's try it, let's try putting this on here. I think it wants exactly three crabs because the, the word three is like highlighted. Alright, let's take them back. I think they do. Aberration crabs. Okay, let's go put these out. And then, in this case, let us just go back home. Uh, get some distance away. Oh. Oh, there's a cooldown on it. Okay, chat, you can see how I, as I spin around, the bar fills up. And when it's fully finished filling up, now it's ready to go. Woo! Secret soup. Hello, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hearts in chat for a secret soup and the gifted memberships? Thank you, thank you. If you receive one, please enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. Whoa! Ooh. I think it's still really cool how the game has like these invisible rocks that appear in the middle of the night. That way you can't just memorize your way. Something slithers into your cargo hold. What? Ah! <gasps> no, not the infection. Uh oh, it's a long. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna need some special crabs to make it work. Which is, so for now, we don't have to worry too much about it. Oh, undock. Let's go finish up picking up all the crabs. Any more? Okay. Back up a little bit. Drop it off here. All the crabs away. Back into storage. Take out some of the crab pots. Open up inventory space. Pop out, and then let's go pick up the last few bits of crab traps. Yeah. Fishmonger. <laughs> He's probably just wondering, where are you finding all these crabs? And I'd be like, they're just outside of the beach. Yeah. 
There we go. So much camera, but yeah, I apologize. I know it's supposed to be like super, uh, like cinematic with all the movements and stuff, but when I do like repetitive stuff like this, I don't can get a little bit just dizzy. All right, back to the shipwright. We repair everything. Nine hundred. Look at that. Nine hundred. Yeah. Drive up a little bit. Crab pots and. Nice. All right. Let's go and take a quick nap. Wait. All right, chat. Give me just a minute. We might lose our sanity by getting that hundred dollars. The villagers of this city are going to lose their sanity too when all they eat is crab. <laughs> All right, Jack, give me just a minute. I want to go to an idol meeting real quick. Um, I ate right before, so hopefully we can go on a little long tonight, but I need to go real quick. Be right back. Give me just a minute.
the chat I am back. I apologize, that took a little bit of time. Alright chat, let us continue. What? Oh, wait, what is that noise? Oh, it's from... <laughs> it was from the game. I want to talk a little bit to the Lighthouse Keeper and try to see if we can figure out some more things because we haven't really asked the Lighthouse Keeper too much. Uh, what do you know about the Mayor of Little Marrow? Malevo malevolent being, Okoidi, you can give her join the Quillet of welcome, welcome. That, so, what do you know about the mayor? That's... he's... I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Hmm... Have you seen anything significant from the lighthouse recently? The fog. It's behaving. As though it's reacting to the lights that has been cut through it. It swirls and crashes against the edges. From the top of the lighthouse, I can see dark figures seething in the thickest tracks. Now it's beyond Little Marrow, where the lights dwindle. Of all that I've seen, your lights seem to anger them the most. Interesting. I like how in the the background noise over there by the lighthouse, it's just like really strong winds. Oh, wrong button. There we go. All right, let's see. What's the next on our pursuits? Continue the search for relics, catch rare fish, and deliver rotting conquer eel. I. Probably will probably never do this one. <laughs> we'll probably never do this one, to be honest. I just a lot of effort. Maybe we'll, we'll come back to it later. But for now, let us check out the Stellar Basin. Because this is the one that we have a new lead on. So let's go check out that area. But it's a delicacy. I've not had rotting eel before. Wait, isn't that good? Like no, sorry, I'm mistaking it for another delicacy. I believe it is fermented shark. Um, in Iceland, I believe. I think it's like an Icelandic uh, a food where they take shark and they will salt it and then they will ferment it by pickling it, and uh, sorry, not pickling it, by like fermenting it, by like digging it down into the ground and leaving it there for a while because of the, uh, the temperature. Yeah, fermented, fermented shark. I've never had it. I know they serve it in Iceland, but I'm so curious to try. Hakarl? Is that it? Wasn't shark poisonous unless specifically prepared that way? Perhaps. Ah, <gasps> ooh. This looks so cool. Ooh. The smelly one? I've never smelt it, but I think it is. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't smelly. Or I would be surprised if it wasn't smelly. A curious looking chest is half submerged in the sand. Let's look inside. Ah! <gasps> a doubloon. And then a small scrap of paper. Interesting. It looks like it's a part of a map, but we don't have enough pieces yet to put it all together. Shark is just fish. Australians eat it all the time. I want to try shark. I want to try. I've never had this before, so it is curious to me. Abyssal depth. Oh. Abyssal depth? We've not... I don't think we've ever come across anything that requires abyssal tools right now. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. 
Love the corals. Ooh. More loot. Let's go grab the loot. Ah. Ah. I'm bad at this game, chat. There we go. A bag of doubloons. Nice. I've been in, in the game... I have had the idea for a fan game for you. It's going to be a small wooden cabin with a koi pond. You'll be a quest line to find missing koi through the wood. World through fishing. Oh, that'd be really cute. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for making a fan game. Please do share, if you're comfortable, uh, please do share progress pics. I would love to see them. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Ninapedia, thank you so much for the super chat. Buddy of mine tried hot curl, uh, fermented shark from Iceland, and it said it tastes like formaldehyde smells. Oh, tasty. I would like to try. Tastes like formaldehyde, house formaldehyde smells. So, like, very sharp. I, I don't know how to describe it. Formaldehyde has a very specific smell, and I, I, like, to me, it smells very sharp. Like, pointed sharp. Some, a collection of cases have washed up against the shore. Some have already split open and lost their contents to the waves. Look for valuables. <gasps> Ooh. It's a photography chest. Okay. Maybe this is part of the photographer quest line that, um, that they've been talking about. Alright, let's take all of this and then head back home. Gosh. I kind of want to search for a little bit more. You know what? Here, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's keep looking. From all that makes me tear tears every time. Gonna start drinking from all the high like Capri Sun. Please don't. No. Do not drink from all the high like Capri Sun. I think it's more like uh, Kool Aid than Capri Sun. A campsite. Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. What do you want to do? Let's inspect it first. The symbols span the breadth of the camp, twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together into what must be words. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Inspect the last symbol more closely. A glint of metal shines through the sand. Ooh. You take it for yourself. Let's inspect the footprints now. Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating that they were left by a man. But you don't know much about footprints. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. Oh, wait, okay. Uh, now let's search the campsite. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric is collapsed at the base of some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable about it. Alright then. I guess we'll go ahead and sleep here in the makeshift uh, campsite. And then let's head off back home. I want to check out this island right here, this one, and then afterwards we'll just teleport back home and drop off all our stuff. There was like a big thing, um, I think I remember talking about it back during when I was playing Mortuary Assistant, but I was watching some videos of like actual mortuary uh, people. Is that? Person? Ow. <gasps> you approach a hooded figure. Gold, dirty gold robes obscure all features except for a pair of withered blackened hands. Fisherman. Deep. Calls. Respond. Their voice gurgles with the sound of fluid in their lungs. An answer. The hooded figure holds out a scroll. They tap at the shape depicted. 
It looks like a red snapper. Oh. Okay, so we need to find a red snapper for you. Alright. I wonder if we can find a red snapper right here. Maybe. That'd be very, very convenient. <laughs> How convenient. Let's go. The hooded figure holds out a scroll. It looks like a red snapper. They rip through the throat of the fish and tear out its heart in its mouth before you have time to process. It's in their mouth. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh my god. It's in their mouth before you have time to process what you just saw. Another sacrifice. They point to another shape on the scroll. It looks like a faint tooth. That... Ooh. A fang tooth. Uh, I don't like how we can't search for things. Fang tooth, fang tooth, perch. Where's a fang tooth? Have I, ever, have I even seen a fang tooth? A gnashing perch, aberration of ocean perch, no. Real books don't have search functions. Oh my god. No. Okay. Blue mackerel, cod, black grouper. Uh, like, at least alphabetical. Uh. Ocean perch. Oh. We have not caught one. It's in the Stellar Basin, but Abyssal Depth. Ah, uh, that's why we don't have it. That's why we don't have it. Okay, we need to go find a tool that can harvest an Abyssal one here. Is the index not for that? Right, but there is no index, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and just teleport back home, and then we'll come back here with a upgrade for um, an Abyssal Depth fishing tool. That we should be able to use now. <gasps> Wait, before we go, let's collect all the treasure we can. Mm. Mm. Uh. Sorry about that chat. I it's really hot in here, so it's like getting very toasty. And like, if it gets hot, it- Whoa! Oh, it's a whale! Whale! Oh, you're so cute! Bye bye whale! That's so cool! It was a whale, Chad. Big friend, yeah. And yeah, for me, like, if the- if it gets really hot, uh my brain stops like it slows down i think better when it's cold but if it's too hot my brain just gets stuffy do you get sleepy when you feel hot yeah i don't know what happens <sighs> sorry about yawning <laughs> I'd freak out over meeting a whale while diving. They're like massive. Okay, let's just go teleport back home. <laughs> that was the most Tuscan yawn I've ever heard. <laughs> Oop. Alright. Let us head back home. And then, once we're back here, we can go look for upgrades. I'm sure we have enough money to buy one. I don't know, do we? Or do we have to take a break first before we can, because we don't have any more uh, research points? Okay, chat, it's getting really hot. I wanna have to go turn the, the AC back on. Oh, I can't handle it. 
It's 88 in here. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if that works. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I hope it works now. There we go. All right, let's go check out the tools that we can purchase right now for fishing. Weighted line, oceanic shallow shallow, um, engines, coastal coastal. Does it have a bit of water like stuck in the food? But without AC, just an hour ago, my AC stopped and I suddenly felt sleepy because of the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, chat. Let us... Let us go do this. Sell this real quick. Uh, sell. We do have to repair our ship, and I guess the next thing that we gotta do is go and collect the rest of the upgrades that we need. Before we can go and unlock the abyssal dredging materials. Volcanic Shallow. Coastal Mangrove. Volcanic Shallow Mangrove. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. We only need one research because they're not connected. It's just this one on its own that allows us to search for uh, fish for abyssal and hadal stuff. So we just need one uh, research part, which is not too bad. Not too bad. We can do that pretty quickly. Hello, Shinri-san. Please sip a lot of water and take care. Sugar, sugar, thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. I will, I will. I have to make sure that I go grab some water, though. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's storage. Let's put this away in storage and these. I think we can go and just sell these off to the traders because the trader, they've just been sitting here for a while. I want to just sell these too. Coastal trawl net. Yeah, that's all. Let's go to the shipwright and then storage. And we're going to sell these. Open up some space in our inventory. I guess we can't sell the peculiar engine. That's not too bad, though. We'll just hold it over there. I'll go to town. Undock. And now let's go sell all of these to those people. Bam. Can't sell the engine is to prevent people from soft locking themselves. Oh, I get. I suppose that does make sense. All right, trader. Welcome. By the evening special lady. Sell all the trinkets. Wait. Uh, these aren't quest items, right? <laughs> I don't think I don't think we need anything because um, these are just like random items that we found during the the dredging, not through quests. So I think we can sell all of these. Um, none of them are purple, so. They're not like special, so yeah. They won't sell quest items, okay. For a hundred dollars. Oh yeah. I wonder if I can sell some of the metal scraps just to open up some space. 
Maybe not. Maybe later. Oh. The quest list, we don't really have much. Uh, catch a fang tooth. Hunger eel, catch a rare fish, and such relics generally. Oh. So. I think we've slept enough days that we should go and let chicken on the crabs. But then once we're done with the crabs, we can go ahead and jump out to uh, go looking for more of those research parts. Yeah. Uh, even more crab. Vampire. <laughs> All right, let's store these here, put away the crab pots, and now let's go sell all the crabs. Hmm, haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what it was. Interesting. I wonder what it was too. Every time we find, a, uh, we come across those like really bright red spires on the map, they end up being very closely tied to the relics that the collector is asking us to pick up. I wonder why those specific relics are the ones being lit up by whatever entity, eldritch god. I wonder why. It's gotta be some relation, yeah. I just don't know yet. I don't know what it is. A little bit more. Uh, <laughs> it's all, it's just oops, all crab at this point, chat. Ranger Genevieve, hello. Thank you so much for this. Uh, you've been a membership. Thank you, thank you. Oh, lady. I'm late again, no. How are you doing? How's the game's going for you so far? We are getting back into the groove of things. Uh, it's taking me a little while to get used to it again, but it hasn't been too difficult. And we're having a lot of fun just collecting a whole bunch of crabs again. Go. Ev eventually everything becomes crab. <laughs> I've heard of, I've read something like that too. Like Carcinet Genesis. Where everything like eventually becomes, becomes crab-like or crab-shaped because they're just so efficient. Some weird thought. Say what now? Yeah, everything evolves into crab. And hey, Okoidi, thank you for joining the collective. Welcome, welcome. Everything evolves into crab. $2,000, chat. $2,000. Oh my gosh, I wish I had that. Just from crabs? Where'd you get $2,000? I just sold crabs <laughs> just all the crabs <laughs> just go to a beach drop in like a hundred crab pots right hmm so now we have to go and we can't explore this just yet but maybe we can visit these interest spots, the little, the dots. This one over here was the makeshift, uh, camp, I believe. I think what we could do is try to go to these different places here and see if we can find a quest. And then with the quest, maybe that'll be the fastest way to grab a research point beyond trying to salvage. Uh, like trying to dredge up some random research points on the ground. Mickey, they give it the super chat. Reject humanity, return to crab. <laughs> they give it the super chat. Ooh, wait, let's see if we can. Ah, oh, shark. Yeah, cute. Aww. Ooh. God, look at its face. Ooh, that's kind of terrifying. 
Like compared to the other one? Like compared to this one? Like, oh my god. It's really eerie. Yeah, like its mouth was ripped open. Ew. <laughs> you wanna know how I got these scones? Let's talk to the builder now that their house is finished. Ah. Hey, thanks again for me for helping me move out here. I managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking, and you should take it. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but in otherwise good condition. If you ever need a dock or you store stuff here, be my guest. Go ahead and start reading this book. And I was hoping she would give us at least one research part, but I guess not. Let's head back over to the main uh, town and then sell off these sharks before they get pretty old. And then afterwards, we'll keep heading out, explore more places for for scrapping. What I think we can do is. Just kind of hold on to these for now and then sell them later on because we have way too much uh, metal scraps. Okay, right, let's go. Here. Hello, fishmonger. I have shark. Three hundred and fifty dollars? A large body bisected by enormous grinning maw, teeth stretched down forever into the blackness of its large gulf. That's so much money. Oh my god. 2,400, let's go. All right, now, back to the shipwright. Can we sell these? <gasps> no, we can't sell the metal scraps. That's really unfortunate. I thought you could, but I guess not. All right, so moving forward, we're gonna have to avoid collecting scrap because they take up way too much space in our storage. So much money, but no happiness. <laughs> All right, let us continue around. See if we can figure out where the research part is. One here. We'd be rich if it was rust. Oh my god. I miss rust. I want to try again with the boys. That was a lot of fun. We can't use them for research or repairs? No, not yet. Um, I have to go find refined metal and cotton bolts in order to progress to the next stage because the ones that we have right now aren't enough to uh, jump into the next section where all the upgrades are. I'll show you when we get back home. Let me just grab these. I need four total bolts of cotton. Hopefully we can get like three. Ah, uh, just to reject me to be become fisherman. <laughs> BDK, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. Oh no, sorry, I'm yawning again, chat. This is gonna, I, I worry it's gonna be like this for a good chunk of time. Um like another two months or so it'll just be me yawning because I'll have to try to survive against the uh, the summer heat what time did you wake up? I woke up around like 10 10.30 we have too many metal scraps not enough research points there are our research parts. I need to find one. We don't have the uh, 
abyssal fishing gear yet because we haven't researched it. Gotta go find at least one research part in order to unlock it. <gasps> Ooh, no! Okay, that was kind of scary. Oh, oh my god, it's still coming, it's still coming. Uh oh. It can't follow us through here, right? Oh no, it can't, it can't, it can't. I'm too slow. One of my engine burned out. Uh, I think I can't. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, no, we're out. We're out of here. <laughs> uh. Yeah, when the light went out, the, there was just no chance. We're, we're nope. Gonna reset and try again tomorrow. There we go. The engineer's companion. Nice. Pochi, hello. Thank you so much for the orange super chat. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, what book did we just finish reading? We finished reading the engineer's companion. Equipment that use equipment types that use durability will lose a ten percent slower. <gasps> Ooh. I wonder if that also includes crab pots, because crab pots do have durability as well. Oh my God. Gotta go repair everything now because I got, uh, everything got set on fire. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. <laughs> Jen, Jen, Jelly Bee, no quitty. Thank you for giving the membership. Where? Uh, okay, here we go. Club. Cloth. We need one cloth and then two refined minerals. And then with these two, we'll be able to get this upgrade. And then after we get this upgrade, we'll open up all of these where we can then use up the saved up materials. But until then, this is, these are all locked. We can't ac uh, access them. And hey, thank you so much for the super chat. Baby Koi says hello. Join the membership because I like streaming his voice. I'll come see you often. I use the translator. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. And thank you for the kind words. I'm glad you like my voice. <laughs> yeah. Alright. We do have just enough space to hold all of these. Like so. But now our storage full is full. And we kind of had to go pushing out for... Uh, not enough space. We do have to go look for the research part ASAP. Either the research part or the... Uh, the refined metal and bolt of cotton. I guess we can just go back because I know I know the the Gale Cliffs have a lot of those areas for the resources. Ooh. I know the Gale Cliffs have quite a few of those areas where we can farm for materials, so Is it chasing us? Oh it is chasing us. Okay, fine, I'll go to sleep, I'll go to sleep. <laughs> Darn it. When the game mechanics like, no, you can't go. You have to sleep. Mm. Mm. <sighs> there we go. Okay. This is gonna be weird, chat. But I'm gonna have to turn on my my filter again and the AC. I I can't do this. It's way too hot. 
It's 86 again already. Oh, yeah. You mean your AC was off? It's so loud that it actually makes it... It distracts my head. Um, I have a hard time focusing on it when there's loud noises behind me. It's like... It acts like static and makes me fall asleep, so it makes it difficult for me to pay attention and focus on, on talking, fortunately. Little narrow? Hmm. Let me think. Why don't we go check out the other places, then? If we can't search for... Maybe I shouldn't have been so hasty to use up all the research points. <laughs> now I'm kind of out of them. Ooh! Ah! <gasps> Bolts of cotton! few more of those because we need these. Wait. <laughs> How loud is the AC noise making? Um it's it's pretty new, but it's just very loud. I don't want to turn on the turn off the filter because I know it gets very loud. It is just like in my ear. It's because it's like pointed right at my back. But it's alright. Okay. Okay. Shadow, thank you so much for. Uh, thank you so much for giving the membership. Koidi. Koinichiwa Koidat. Have you come across any crab people yet? I hear they walk and talk. I hear they talk like people yet taste like crab. I. don't know. I have not eaten any crab people yet. Um. But I will let you know when I find them. <laughs> Thank you so much for VFing the membership, lady. Yet. Yeah. Maybe there are. Who knows? I'll go ahead and discard these. The only reason why I'm dredging this portion here is because sometimes... Sometimes you can get very lucky with the scrap dredging and get a research part. Look at that. Look at that. We got a research part. <laughs> so that's why I'm going through these, because if we get lucky and get a research part, then we can use that to upgrade some of our stuff. What luck. What luck. What good fortune. All right. Let us head back home now. Oop. Wait, what were those? I saw red fish. What? Oh, it's another one of these. All right, let's go. Spooky. Starting to see why this game is addicting. Yeah. It has like that little bit of the, the energy, the feeling of like making progress over time. It does that very well. I really like it. Sorry for yawning again, Chad. <laughs> Fishmonger first, so that we could sell you. Then after we sell you, let's go ahead and get some upgrades into our dry dock. Bolts of cotton. And now the only thing we need is two refined metals. I still have not figured out where those are. And I guess for now, we'll just focus on getting the abyssal upgrade. Wait, what? Spend one? Wait, why can't I spend?
<sighs> Wait, it doesn't give me the option to spend. No! <laughs> I have to finish these guys first before I can get this one. Take any thank you so much for your Victor membership. Yansa contagious back off yawns, I say back. <laughs> I will not yawn, no. <laughs> thank you so much for your Victor membership. Alright, I guess I'll have to wait for this one. So, in that case, let us go and upgrade the reinforced crab pot so that we can at least get this one here. Nice. And it lasts for nine days, so what we can do is buy a bunch of these and then sell them off. Or sell off these ones, the ones that we already have right now. Oh, gosh. You know what? Here, we'll discard them. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. card this one we'll save this one and this one open up as much space as we can I'm gonna go collect all the crabs and then once we collect all the crabs we'll we will sell every single one of these crab pots and replace them all with the the big extra large ones yeah Sell them to you? Dog, maybe? No. Fishmonger. Sell. Ah, there we go. Yeah. EP Shinri is EP. It is difficult, Chad. The heat is making me very sleepy. I'm one of those people who are like, if it gets hot enough, my brain just shuts down, and then I just want to sleep. But like, at the same time, I don't want to sleep because when it gets really hot and stuffy like that, I get very sweaty, and I don't like it, and it just feels gross trying to sleep at, in the summertime. Ooh. Do you not have a fan? Uh, I do, but all that does is blow hot air at me, so I don't use it. <laughs> hey, waking up and being all sweaty? Exactly! This is why I try to avoid falling asleep whenever it's hot. But sometimes, no, that doesn't always happen. Get a kiddie pool full of ice cubes, like people do for their huskies. Oh, I wish. I wish. Unfortunately, we don't have that much. Like, our ice machine maker isn't that great. Uh, it's like, okay-ish. <laughs> but there's only a limited number of... Uh, sorry, there's only a limited number of ice cubes I can make in a day, and my housemates use it for drinking, so can't use it in a, to fill up a kiddie pool, unfortunately, even if I want to. Oh, uh, Okoidi, thank you for re uh, thank you for joining the collective. I apologize, I cannot read the name, but thank you, thank you. Welcome to the collective. I hope you enjoyed the channel badge and the emotes. You wake up in the pool of sweat and you get off your bed, it's the shape of your body, right? It has that weird, like, stickiness to it, and I don't like that. <laughs> Just dunk your feet in a cold water bucket. I want to... Hiro no Kama? Scarlet? Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining the Corvette. Welcome, welcome. Bit right. Uh, oh wait, fishmonger, fishmonger. There we go, the big one. They only have one of it. <laughs> uh. They only have one, so we'll come back and we'll big it. We'll build. Uh, we'll we'll buy another one later. But for now, we'll. Oh my god. Look how big that is! Six by five? Oh my goodness, look how massive this is. 
That is amazing. It's a lot of crabs. Fishmonger. Let's go sell this last crab here. Then we'll sell this one here. Sell. And now we have a full empty... Empty hull inventory. Let's go talk to the mayor. If the if some of the upgrades in the future are blocked off because we have to continue to the story, maybe we can interact with some of the people here that we have not talked to yet, and then uh, see if we can figure out where we can unlock those. Gimster, thank you for the super chat. Think my suggestions from a month ago will come in handy. Just ask Hala to build a big pool for you in your backyard. <laughs> Oh, I wish, but I think they would have to go talk to the city uh, and be all like, is it possible to build to build a swimming pool just here in the guild hall? Because I don't know if we can get the permits for that. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. I want to ask about the wider regions. Oh no, shipwrecks. Because we can try to... Um, some refined metal from shipwrecks. So let's see if we can figure out where they are. Shipwrecks. Unfortunately, they've been quite a few recent years. The Hallie House helps, but even even but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur on this side of the island. I should make it a bit fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get to. There's still some wrecks with deeper patches. You'll have to avoid that area. Okay, let's go check out the back side of the island. Maybe we can figure out some interesting updates, or like progress, progressions. Let's see how around the backs. I think we've already explored a good chunk of this area here though, so we may have to go check out the other Oh yeah, we've already explored that one. I don't see like sparkles around it. Let's head around. Uh, let's head up north, see what's over there. Maybe we can find something cool. You still have your explosives? No. I put them all in the storage for now. We'll go pick them back up later when we need them. But looking for some... Ooh, what is that? They look like columns in the distance over there. Let's go check out those columns. See what's over there. Um, that looks so cool. What the... Oh! <gasps> <laughs> what was that? Nom nom. Delicious giant squid. Wow, so cool. I wonder if it's like one of those like random uh like events that can happen here and there while you're swimming around the deep sea. Such a weird golden color here. We don't need cotton. But there's a lot of stuff here. Let me go ahead and dredge up. Lasses. Alright. That is wood. We don't need wood. More cotton took me that. We need to find some refined metal. But where would we find those? Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to, I have to avoid these, like, hot geyser spots. They're gonna hurt my, my voice. Okay. Let's 
seen a blank plate where you witnessed. Oh! Where did this come from? <laughs> I came to the super chat. I'm still at the gear. Thank you. Go and do some more dredging real quick. Sextant? What? Oh, it must have been like a really big ship that dropped it. This place is a little spooky. I see all those like red ripples in the water. And I think they're like swimming fish, but they're not. It's just the reflections of... Oh wait, no, never mind. They are fish. Oh my gosh. What? Whoa. Wait, what is it doing? It looks kind of cute. Um, it's not doing anything at the moment, so... Ooh. The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. Let's touch it. Let us touch it. A sudden chill rushes to the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. A leviathan raises its vast gray head, stretching up until it sits level with the bright flame cradle at the top of an ancient lighthouse. It watches the fire for a while, tilting its head and calling softly with a guttural song. Appearing satisfied, the beast slinks down into the water, gliding back to the depths. Suspicious. I don't know what those are. Oh, no. I mean, as long as it doesn't hurt us, I think we're okay. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> the fish was swimming around in circles, but it hit the steam geyser and it. No! Fish died to the steam geyser. Ancient lighthouse, though. Okay. I don't know what this is. Okay, now it should be okay to turn off the AC for a little bit. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. Let's check out the walls. The left walls. These paintings depict the birth of a civilization. A great beacon of light is shown repelling a tentacled figure emerging from the seas. In the dim light of the cave, you make out some painting on both walls. Let's check out the right wall. These paintings depict the fall of a civilization. A volcanic eruption tears through a tall lighthouse. Monstrous shapes devour people as the buildings turn to ruin. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings. Ah, so this must have been had a long, long time ago. Let's go check out the ancient lighthouse now. You climb the many steps leading up to the ancient lighthouse. At its base is a solid stone door. You can't see a handle, but there is a large socket carved into the face of the door. A large socket carved into the face of the door. Wonder. It's something, but we don't know what it is. It looks like a tablet, like a square tablet that fits inside here. Uh, Josephira? Josephira? Hello, thank you so much for the super chat. Papa Shreem, scary because how could you give us a... Give us one skinship with the hardened abs of yours? <laughs> uh, I am here. Do not worry, chat. Do not, do not worry. A metal scrap, just, just shove in the metal scrap in there. I will give all the koi's little head pats. 
so that they would not be scared. Pat, pat. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, man. Ah, <gasps> a research part. Too sleepy to process elder chores being described to us. Yeah. Imagine that. Like, imagine Cthulhu pops out and they're trying to, like, like, uh, I don't know, talk about the the days of ruin and what the what they will do to you, right? And then you're just like, wait a minute, could you hold off? I'm like really sleepy, can't focus right now. Can you, can we do the whole like ruin and damnation thing later? <laughs> it's like I know you come to like uh, drive everyone to madness, but I'm like really tired right now and I have work in the morning. So can we do this madness thing another time? Ooh, a silver plate. Oh, hey. Can we get a rain check? <laughs> Alright, so I think we're gonna have to go grab some of the exp What was that sound? We're gonna have to go get some explosives to open up a few shortcuts here. Although I don't think they're like necessarily required. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, that's less cute. That is less cute. <gasps> oh no, they slow you down. Oh, so that's what they do. They group together and they slow you down. Uh-oh. Oh no. No. <laughs> so that's what they do. You just get they just kind of gather around you and then they slow your ship down a bunch. Huh. Oh my god, are you We'll we'll try this again. That that was a test run chat. That was those weren't even big bumps. They were just like little taps. It was a head pat. It. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm still a little bit shocked at how quickly I took damage from that. It <laughs> Glass bones and paper skin. Yeah. All right, so we can't. Hmm. We know how to clear them out. Like if they start collecting near us, we have to go get close to these like gas vents to kill them. But it's the big one that like I don't know how we can stop them. Uh oh. Okay. Can we park here? No. Should I violate? Oh, it's so slow. Thank you so much for the super chat. Betrayed by the cute. Yeah. Where's the big ship? Big one, though. Oh, jeez. Where? I need, I need to find... I had to find a geyser. Oh my god. This is taking a while, chat. Uh, there's a geyser right there. Okay, come on, come on. Please, please. Uh, no, my engine. <laughs> oh. Alright, 
one of our engines down, but that's okay, we still have a second one. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Nope, 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 we're getting out of here. <laughs> okay, we don't have the tools to make that work. I, I don't have I don't have anything to clear them out. I don't think I can travel to or like explore that place too much. All right, let's go ahead and whoa! What was that? What? That's a cheap blow. Where did that come from? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea where that shark came from. Alright, traitor. Sell all of this stuff. Okay. <sighs> Storage. We have no space. That guy's only supposed to be at night? I don't know what the, where they came from. Why were they here? I feel I feel like I was uh, betrayed by the day. All right, let's get one more. At the very least, this can be used to pay for the repairs anyway. Tradition Reese Packs, hello. Thank you so much for reaping the membership. Not sleeping affects your sanity, makes danger to your ships manifest in your hallucinations. No, I don't want to sleep. Thank you for the reaping the membership, oh lady. Imster, thank you for the super chat. Talking about Cthulhu reminds me of a manga panel. A woman in her enters her room, finds a ghost director room, and had a bunch of evil looking eyes. And she said, I'm going to bed. <laughs> But honestly, yeah, I just, sometimes you're too tired, you know? There might be an eldritch horror in your room staring at you with all those eyes and you're like, nah, like, let's do this tomorrow. I'm so tired after work. I just, I can't deal with this right now, you know? All right, let's go over here and let's pick up this. Ooh. Yeah. And now can drop the other one in there too. Perfect. Is she hot at least? Cthulhu? I don't know if they're hot. I actually have no idea what Cthulhu looks like besides like the the stereotypical like pictures of Cthulhu that looks kinda like a giant mind flayer. Speaking of tired, it's time for me to head to sleep. Night, night. Thank you for stopping by, Jordy. Hope you have lots of rest and sweet dreams. <sighs> Alright. We have to progress the story somehow. If you're into mind flames, I. I'll have to think about that. Am I into Mind Flayers or not? Get the fairy, thank you for the gift of membership. Can we get some hearts and chat for the gift of membership? Thank you, thank you. This is dating sim where you can date Cthulhu, she's hot in my opinion. I, hmm, I'm trying to think like, would a Mind Flayer do it for me? I guess the question would have to be like, in what way does the Mind Flayer, like, work for you? Like, what, what does it do, you know? If I know what it does, then maybe. Let's head over to the Devil's Spine over here. Oh, there's, like, a huge, vast ocean area that we haven't seen yet. Tradition respects, thank you for the super chat. 
I feel like kissing a mind flayer is a whole thing. <laughs> I see. I wonder what that would be like, though. Thank you so much for the super chat. Also, hello, Axolotls. Welcome. Axel, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Whoa. Okay. Let's grab this stuff real quick before we get attacked by that spooky, spooky thing. Okay, discard that. I'm doing this mostly to find research points. Hello, Axolotls. Welcome, welcome. Unfortunately, none. Fire Duck, hello. Thank you so much for reaping the membership. Been trying to beat you about your boat's extended warranty. Happy six months. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. What? What on earth was that? Oh my god. Okay, chat. I. Oh my gosh. Imagine making sashimi with that. Wouldn't it be tasty? Uh oh. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Gotta go. <laughs> oh. Chat, this sleeping thing is too... It, it's too much, chat. The workshop looks like as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Okay. I guess we have to sleep. I swear that wasn't about the warranty. <laughs> Fire Duck, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Man. Okay, fine. Chat, the, the penalty for not sleeping is way too steep. What is this? Like, there should be, like, a hindrance to your ability to progress, but it shouldn't be, like, taking you out this quickly. You haven't slept for ages at this point. We slept like twice already. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Gotta go repair our ship, which is fine because we have a lot of money. And then it goes to the fishmonger, buy another one of the massive crab pots, and then I think that's it. That's all we gotta do. How long does it take for someone to go completely insane from sleeping or from lack of sleep? I don't know actually. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I guess we can keep exploring around... I wonder if we have to. Do we have to do these? Uh, Orfish, Gulper Eel, Goliath, Tigerfish, Cola Camp. Col Cola Camp? Sleep is overrated. I wish we didn't need it. Yeah, same, honestly. Alright, we can't do the... the we can't do those, but we can do this one, probably. There ought to be a few living in the center of Gale Cliffs. Okay, we'll, we'll finally get off our button and do these. <laughs> no, I just wanted to focus on the other things, but I guess we have to. Let's go haste. Zoom. <gasps> Church of Shin Respects, oh my goodness. <gasps> Dolphins! Cute. 
Chucha Shimmy Specs, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships. Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you. Go get some hearts in chat for your Chucha Shimmy Specs and the gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Big love for the big fish fan. Ah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <gasps> that was not fair. What? How is that fair? It's... Oh my god. <laughs> it spawned right in the middle of our path. Thanks to the retired Wheeler, Wheeler at Inkfell, I'm now carrying a small stock to pack explosives. Very carefully. That was cheating. That was cheating, chat. Oh, we can just buy this from you. You know what? Here, let's buy all of it. We can afford it all. Heck yeah. Uh, shipyard. Wait, sorry, not shipyard, right? No. Uh, floating dock. There we go. One more. We just need one more. Alright, let's go. Can I go spend some time? <sighs> I'm gonna just like spin around in a big circle um, while we wait for the time to pass so that it becomes nighttime, and then when nighttime hits, we will go and uh, search for those conger eels. Loose debris with explosives? Let's do it. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder what that is. <gasps> it's the it's more refined metals. Let's go. Perfect. Let's go. Ooh, okay, let's go upgrade that. Now that we finally have it. Also, it's nighttime, so perfect timing. We gotta go and like search for those conquered eels. Bonkabork, thank you for the super chat. Is Ollie still jealous of your physique? I haven't, I don't know. Yeah, I think you would have to ask Ollie sometime for that one. I don't know if I can speak on her behalf, but thank you for the super chat. My lave, hello, thank you for the super chat. Hey, what was me and Koi like to? Just finished my thesis presentation and I finally graduated. <gasps> Congratulations, oh my goodness. Thank you for the company, company and positive vibes. <gasps> Love to hear that. Congratulations, congrats. Oh my goodness. I hope you are treating yourself. Do something wonderful. Eat something tasty. Have some delicious drinks. Thank you, thank you for being the membership. Leo Stone. Thank you, uh, Okoidi. Thank you for being the membership. My classes just ended after your stream start. Give me the motivation to work hard and get home safe. Thank you. I oh, love to hear that. Love to hear. Thank you so much for being the membership. <gasps> Tier three hall. Let's go, chat. All right, now we can. Ooh, cargo space. Let's go. We can finally start putting away some of all this material. <laughs> so that it's not filling up our storage constantly. Okay. Uh, we need one more bolt of cotton. Cargo. <laughs> no, cargo. Car dot go space. Cargo road. Uh, we can pop, toss these in here. And then light. Ooh. I think we might be able to get this one actually. And then you know what here? Let's go take out one of the pieces of wood from here. Toss it in there. Get the upgrade. Might as well have it now. Two pieces of metal scrap. One can go here. And then the other one. I suppose. Oh. I guess not. Uh. Alright, we need to go find how many is it? One, two, three total wood. Three wood, one bolt. Three bolt, five wood. Four bolts of cotton, six wood. Seven, eight wood. Alright, mostly wood and some bolts of cotton. 
I can also buy the engine one. I don't really need the engine one. It's nice to have, but I don't have anything to put in those spaces, unfortunately. Let's see. We have one research part. I think we'll just save that one for now. We'll put you away for now. Yeah. I'm gonna turn my AC back on again because it's just stuffy again. Uh, Chalk, where are we here? I'm thinking we're stopping by. I have to get lots of sleep and lots of rest. Uh, give me just a minute, chat. I want to go see if I can open the window instead. Because if it's cool enough to open the window, it might be it might be a bit easier for me to manage the, the temperature. So good news, it has cooled down. I can open my window, but for now, I have to wait for like the, the cool air to come inside. It's like 88 inside right now, but outside it's a bit cooler. All right, chat, let us go. So we should be able to find a few conquer eels in the middle of oh, this area. So... Not here. Oh my gosh. Oh? Blackmouth salmon. Wait. More salmon. Ooh. Whoa. A decaying black mouth. <gasps> wow. All right. Let's go collect a few of these fish here and then swing around. Check out the rest of the island. Oh, it looks so creepy. A shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this relentless fish. Muscles atrophied and decaying, but it still swims on. Ooh. Uni, hello. Thank you so much for reaping the membership. Thank you, thank you. Okoyri. Thank you for being in my lives. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I think it's a reference to how salmon, whenever they're ready to spawn, they go and, uh, you know, how they swim up those rivers to, like, get to the spawning grounds. And then after they spawn, what ends up happening is their body starts to decay immediately so they end up becoming almost zombie like while floating in the water and i think that's what the reference is for that kind of a rotting rotting fish kind of vibes Ooh, another one fish lord yeah zombie carp let's go drop off all our stuff here it's kind of scary to look at it because, um, oh, you have reinforced crab pots too? Oh, let's buy a few of those. Heck yeah. How much will those sell? I didn't actually pay attention. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just kind of sell, just sold them. Oh, we'll take a look at the price later on the next time we collect a few. All right. 
Isn't Zombie Fish a Jinji Ito story? I think one of them is, yeah. But you can go online and then. Ooh. Oh, those are just salmon. Ooh. It's a little loud. Um, what was it? <gasps> Wait. Watch out. Where's it going? Where's it going? Okay, it's not coming towards me. You can go online and like look up pictures of zombie salmon. And it looks really wild because the salmon are still alive, but their bodies are falling apart. And you can see like the skin start to come apart and like float downstream because of the water. And they just kind of sit there in a big daze as their body slowly starts to shut down. And it's, it's weird to think about it. Yeah, they start to lose their eyes and their body just... The, all of it just starts to fall apart. Some of them lose their fins and they just kind of like sit there on the, the, the river floor. It's kind of quite like, it's kind of crazy. I'm so glad like that's not, that's not how it happens here in Elysium. And then there's like a whole bunch of things where um, like bears will go around eating the, the salmon. And what they'll do is they'll just go and eat the salmon. They'll like pick the salmon up and then they'll only eat the eggs. Nothing else, just the eggs. And then leave the rest of the body of the salmon to just rot away. Um, and it's mostly because they're trying to get as fat as possible with as much nutrition as possible. So that's why the bears will only eat the eggs of the salmon and then throw the rest of it away. Um, but the rest of it ends up becoming food uh, for scavengers around after the bears leave. Yeah. Bears have a fine taste. They love caviar. It's just a lot of energy packed into a small amount of uh, food. Which is why bears do that. Those look like stingrays. They don't look like eels. Yeah. Conger eels, where are you guys? Ooh, trinkets. Ah, oh, three second rule for real. <laughs> uh, Minato Dwyer, hello, thank you for stopping by. Hope you get lots of rest, sweet dreams. Nature is absolutely metal AF. Reminds me of how cicadas basically wake up to scream about how bad they want to mate and then they do so and die. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. They came with the super chat. Chip just some respects. Oh my god, no, that actually is. That's that's literally what they do, isn't it? Like most animals, like all the sounds that animals make, like a majority of that is just to find a mate. Like when you hear bird song and you're like, oh look, the birds are chirping. They're almost always just screaming like, hey, hey, hey. And then trying to like show off to other members of its species to, to mate. And then the entire time we're just there and we're like, man, the birds are one, like they sound wonderful today. Uh oh, uh oh. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. We, Luciana, thank you for this. Uh, for the membership. Thank you, thank you. Wait, what does it say? It says, "Happy six month VG to you and the boys. Love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you." Ooh, stonefish. Very dangerous fish. Do not touch them. Oh, that reminds me. Wasn't that wasn't there that one? Yeah, the 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 Becky let me smash bird one. Uh, let me smash. And then was it the birds like it? It holds up like a small piece of blue. Oh. Okay, it holds up a small piece of blue plastic, and it's like, do you want blue? Let me smash. <laughs> that does a little dance. Poor thing. The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. A sudden chill rushes through the a sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, searching up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. 
The blustery wind screams through the cliffs, diving and turning. It passes over a large wooden ship at an anchor, all flags suddenly, all flags feeling suddenly. A skinless face appears in the fluttering fabric. A wail of terror arises from the crew. Oh, that's kind of spooky. I don't want. I don't like that. A skinless face appearing before you. So you know that's that's the that's the stuff of nightmares. Ah, oh, it's gone. Okay. Oh, hello, big boy. We chill. Yeah, we chill. Becky likes stick, 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 stick. Get stick. <laughs> Given this image, chat, tra tradition respects. I love that video. It's so great. But no, it really makes it sense. It's all done in in the desire to mate. I know that there's like what? <gasps> no, it's infected. I don't know what that is, but what's the infection? Quick, quick, quick. Drive. We gotta get it sold. We can sell it quick. Um what was I saying? Wait, doc, doc, doc. There we go. Fish market. Let's go sell a ball. All right. Now we have a ton more materials. Let's go and upgrade. Floating dock. Oh yeah. I want more cargo space, so wood and a bolt of cotton. Upgrade. Nice. And now let's go grab this one. Wood. Wood. Bolt of cotton. And we're out of wood, so we'll have to do that later. This one is just wood. You know what? Here, we can use that too. Ooh. I was going to say something, but I completely forgot what I was going to say. You know, something about the the mating thing with the, the birds and the screaming and the cicadas and all that. I thought that was funny because we can't hear it. Um, I guess the only thing to hear is just, yeah, it's just wooden cotton. Cotton bolts. So let's go put these scrap away in here. Storage. Now put some treasure away. We'll sell, we'll sell these back when we get home. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I totally forgot. I was going to go blow up some of the... Uh, some of the rocks so that it would be easier for us to go through a shortcut. So I'm going to grab those two. Storage, explosives one, explosive two, and we're good to go. Shinra yawning makes me yawn. Yeah, I don't know why I'm too tired today. I feel very, very tired today. Uh, like a lot more tired than usual. Saw a video recently showing how stonefish squirt their venom out, and they have these spines that turn neon blue. <gasps> neon blue? Whoa. Okay, it's the fall. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, good. It's gone. Gonna have to go back and recover real quick. I wonder why it's blue. Because, like,. I'm thinking, like, if it, if like it's if it's venom, right, and it's blue, then wouldn't it end up kind of disappearing underwater? Use explosives. Go 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 go. Okay. Shortcut. That's so wild, though. Stonefish are very very dangerous, so you have to be careful about that. Don't don't get stung by them. Apparently, they're one of the more deadlier animals. 
All right. Dock. Repair. And then we'll cut through that little um, shortcut that we just made. Wait, let me just check, just in case. Do you have any more? <gasps> Ooh. Let's go buy these. Now we have very little money, but that's okay. Storage. We might as well just go buy these. Yeah. I think Stonefish Venom has no antidote. That's kind of scary if you think about it. Ah, <gasps> rock crabs. Take all. All right, Doc. Let's sell these rock crabs. Fish market. Rock crabs are twelve dollars each. Thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Not bad. I wish they were a little bit more pro uh, lucrative, but no worries. Undock. All right, let's go take this pot, take all, pick up, and now, oh, it's just enough time to be night. So let's go through this shortcut and then grab one of those conquer eels. Stonefish just lay between the rocks on the side. They can survive for hours if you actually step on them. Ah, oh, it's so scary though. Because they're really good at camouflaging, like you would not be able to see them. Ooh. Okay. Come on, eels. Where are you? Those look like eel shapes. Ah, <gasps> I think these are it. Yeah, conger eel. Two. I don't know how many we need, so I'll just... Whoa! Oh, that looks so cool! <gasps> Whoa! An eruption of crystalline growths burst from its skin. Sharp shapes clatter and resonate together. That's so cool. Alright, let's take these back. And then, after we take them back... Wait. Where's the shortcut? I could have sworn it was here. Because you come out here and you look at the... What? Wait, have you always been here? No. What the... Oh my god, I'm losing it. Oh my god, I'm losing it. <laughs> do I have any more explosives? I do have one more explosive. Let's go use the explosives here. Okay, and now we can just go, just go around. Let's go all the way around. Ooh. Spooky rocks coming out of nowhere. Thank you for the orange super chat. Thank you, thank you. This is a subreddit of pictures of people casually chilling seconds before surviving near death experiences. Most pictures of people smiling and holding deadly animals as if they're holding hamsters. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. I mean, to be fair, I can understand that. Like, if you survive a near death experience, what else can you do but laugh? I guess like it, it would just be like really strong emotional reactions, right? Like crying, laughing, um, getting very angry, perhaps. Mm. All right, how much is this? It's a hundred and nineteen. Let's go. Ah, no. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the button to sell all instead of just the... Oh, gosh. Man. Well, chat, time to go back. Okay, you know what? While we're going around, let's go check out some of the areas where we can put some crabs. Crab traps. 
Sleep. Okay, fine. That's right. We gotta sleep. I know sleep doesn't take too long, but still, I feel like I just want to get through it all, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Is this enough sleep, chat? This has got to be enough sleep, right? Plenty of sleep. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of crabs here. Yeah. Church of Stream Specs, thank you for the super chat. The pictures are before near death. Oh, before near death experience. Oh, no. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. I apologize. I miss I misread the first message. Oh my gosh. A bunch of tourists holding a blue ring octopus. Oh no. Moments before disaster. I think uh Yeah. I hate to say it, but some people just don't have that sense of caution that you would expect um, people to have when they encounter like dangerous animals or maybe they just don't even know ow maybe they just don't even know that the the creatures that they're holding are like very dangerous i've seen videos of people going around and um like a whole bunch of jellyfish will pop out of the ground or like they'll, they'll run aground from the ocean so there'll be a whole bunch of jellyfish just on the beach right and then they'll just casually go over and pick up a jellyfish and be like, oh, oh, cool, guys, check this out, it's a jellyfish. And then they don't realize that they've already been stung and their brain is just, like, in the process of, you know, coming to terms with all the pain. I don't know, Chad. I just don't know. Time to have lunch. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful lunch. Have a wonderful lunch. The Darwin Awards. Man. A trophy. Let's go. I think the best thing to do is if you ever get curious about, like, touching jellyfish and stuff on the beach. Like, if you see a bunch of jellyfish on the beach and you're like, I wonder if, right? The answer is no. Just don't. Do not. And everyone will be so much happier for, for it. <laughs> but man, I the thing is like I know a lot of my friends who would be those like that type of person who they will go and intentionally be all like, "Wow, this is a really cool thing. Let me go touch it," and then it's like, "Bruh," you know. And they get hurt, and you're like, no, I told you not to do that. Gimster, thank you for the super chat. For you, after your first near-death experience, it can be very unreal. Around the fifth time you get desensitized, around your tenth you shrug. Just ex speaking of your experience on 12 of them. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the super chat, but oh my goodness. <laughs> At the very least, it's not like chasing a uh, chasing that first that what did it say the first hit. Like oh, like I remember how exhilarating my first near death experience was. I'm going to try everything I can to to get that feeling back again. <laughs> I hope it's not like that. I hope it is absolutely not like that. Oh my gosh, chasing the high. I don't know if you could call it a high. Of being a, of experiencing a near death experience. You say that, but we have skydivers. Skydiving is are the I thought, actually, hmm. I feel like there's a fine line between adrenaline junkies who go out of their way to put themselves in dangerous situations that you know cause them a lot of in, uh, adrenaline, and. Uh, people looking for near-death experiences. I think that's a little, a little different. Like one of them is pushing it a little bit extremely, and then the other one is just kind of 
I like to go fast. Zoom, zoom. Eels? No. Eels? No. Just do it in games, not IRL. I would also encourage... Yeah. Ooh. Devil Ray. Hot, oh, so cool. Slow moving fast. Slow moving and slow growing. These rare ray rays don't make particularly good eating. I want to go back into Minecraft at some point and... I want to go back into Minecraft and then get back into using those fireworks and the elytra. That was a lot of fun. Whoa! A withered ray. Rotten webbing spans the wings of this large ray. Sinews stretch and snap as it thrashes in futility. That's so cool. Uh don't don't bump. Don't bump. Alright, there you go. Alright, let's go. Ooh. Bolts of cotton. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I see Ah uh, no that that was eels. Wait, is it coming after this? No. Some jellyfish are edible. I th see, I think that's fine if you know that they're edible and you are able to like properly discern that they are edible. Man, this thing is just bullying me. Okay, fine, I want to get out of here. Let's go repair our stuff. <laughs> I know that's like jellyfish salads. I've always wanted to try a jellyfish salad. It looks really refreshing and clean. Very crisp tasting. I'm going to try that. I have to stand my ground against a fully grown grizzly bear. Ooh. And a pack of wolves? It can be tough being Canadian at times. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Just Canada things. <laughs> It's amazing in the Sichuan, Sichuan, Cantonese style jellyfish is good. Oh, I want to try, Chad. I want to go visit and try jellyfish. Oh my goodness. All right. We lost all of the materials that we needed, so we can't upgrade. But at least this way we can sell the fish. Oh, 122. Okay, let's go sell all of that. And then, I guess we can go repair our ship real quick. Repair. I have 123 left over. Do I have enough to buy the net? No. That's fine. Let's pop back out here. Check the pots. Take all. Take all. Pick up. All right. And now we can drop the nets back off a little bit here. Oh, <gasps> there's only a few crabs. Hmm. It's very chewy, so most people eat it when drinking. Oh, that sounds amazing. <gasps> Wait, right here, right here, right here. Perfect. All right, now let's go sell these crabs for some money. And then we'll swing around the back and try to grab... Uh, the conger eels for the first time. I can't believe we spent like an hour trying to find these, but I'm just really bad at the game, so. Fish market. Sell all the crabs, and we're good to go. Me trying not to eat random jellyfish if I'm in the sea. <laughs> oh, man. It's chewier than squid or calamari. Whoa. I want to try. You usually serve it with a cold meat cut platter for parties of four. <gasps> if we get to go on a off collab, I'll bring all the boys out. Take them over to eat some of that jellyfish. Alright. I'm going to chill out around here. 
and spin in wide circles to see if it could pass the time. Now I'm craving sushi, same. Man, I want some of that now. It's more crunchy than chewy. Like, uh... Oh, I cannot remember for the life of me. This is a type of noodle that's got kind of like that, that uh, texture to it. It's like a little bit... Whoa, I just saw it close up. Spooky. Um, it, it like kind of snaps, I guess would be the way to explain it. Snap it in your mouth. I'm really bad at these. Okay. One conger eel. Two conger eel. Cognac noodles, yeah. I think like that's the that's the texture that I imagine in my head whenever people talk about what uh, jellyfish are like. Cognac noodles. That's the I that's the thing I have in my head. Like that's what I imagine it to be like. And then you add some spices to it. And then you add some delicious, like more just more sauces in general, and then some fresh, uh, fresh vegetables, maybe some meat or protein and extra texture. But yeah, that's what I have in my cognac is so good, cognac noodle. Oh right, yeah, that's what I have in mind when I think about it. All right, let's see. Oh. I want to try some now because I really do like cognac noodles. Uh, discard. I want to see if we can figure find the research parts or something else that's not just scrap because we don't really need these. We just need the wood. Ah, <gasps> speaking of wood, let's go. Nice. Uh, uh, hmm. You know what? I want to put away the. I'll put away the stingrays. They're nice to have, but I think the wood is more important for the upgrades. So I just want to collect as much of the wood I can as I can. Wait, excuse me. All this talk about cuisine has to have me the. Actively hunting a cool place to eat again. Ooh, I hope you find some cool places. Whoa. Speaking of noodles, I want udon. Say, I want to go for some. Cognac is a root vegetable similar to a potato, but more jelly-like. Yeah. Finding jellyfish here is tricky. I think I've only seen one in Chinatown where the most authentic restaurants are. Mmm. I don't think you would find jellyfish in most places that aren't, uh, like, experienced in a way with the, with the cuisine. Because I don't know many places that are confident enough to, like, prepare a jellyfish because they don't have training or, or understanding of that. Oh, so many research parts. Okay. We have to hang out a little bit until these start rotting. So, I guess for now, oh, wrong button, floating dock, there we go. Oh, perfect. Nice, and the last one we need is one bolt of cotton and two uh, lumber. Now I want noodles, food. I believe you don't get fresh jellyfish, you usually get them prepared and packaged. Hmm. I'm sure there's someone out there who's like... Uh, no, uh, maybe not someone, maybe there's like a company that goes out there and they specialize in harvesting jellyfish. Um, specifically edible ones that people can consume without worry. Wait. Nice. Most of the Chinese restaurants in Asia will serve it as an appetizer. Appetite, ooh. See, no, the more, thank you, Sugar, for that super chat. Thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, a 
two research parts? No way. Look at that. How lucky. Two research parts. The more I hear about, um, like, this, these... I, I guess that the best way that I could put it would be exotic, but relative to me. Because I've not had those before. I've not tried those. So it's exotic to, or like, compared to the things I've eaten in the past. The more I hear about it, the more I want to try it. Just for the experience. It seems really, really cool. Sort of like a tuna fish. S places, uh... Shanghai Nice places serve it in a salad. <gasps> I can understand that. Like the texture of like cognac noodle texture and like vegetables. Oh, if, especially if you make it like tanky. Oh, that'd be so tasty. I can see that being very, very tasty. Has there been ever anything you didn't want to try? Uh, I have not wanted to try... Uh... Social media food, I guess. <laughs> um, the what I'm what I mean by social media food would be like, uh, you know, those people who make those like videos on social media where they're like intentionally wasting food and making really, like, just making a mess, right? Like, that is something I've never really wanted to try. Like, trendy foods? It's like, okay, so like this one thing I saw of this like lady who was like, oh, we're gonna go and make, uh, we're gonna make, uh, what did, what did she say it was? Like, ice cream scoop Dorito bowls, I think? So, so what they do is they, they cleared out, they're, they're like, they're like a very rich and wealthy people, right? With like a gigantic kitchen, right? But they have like a big island in the middle of their, uh, kitchen. And they clean it off and they start pouring like chips on it uh they start pouring chips and they start pouring like ch like canned cheese and everything and then they like mix it all together with like spatulas and then they chop it up into small like it almost looks like a paste right and then they get like a, a scooper and they scoop it up into like a tortilla but in like a shape of a an ice cream cone like I don't like it when people play around with food like that because it, it just ugh, it's weird it's a combo of fetish content and rage bait I don't see like I don't understand like I, I can understand a lot of things right but like I cannot understand fetish content for wasting food like that's never made sense to me and the fact that there'd be people out there who would do that it just like it bothers me a lot. But like that's the kind of stuff I would probably just never try because like the entire point of it is to just get clicks and views, you know? Okay, get some more wood. I think we need a total of three pieces of wood for the upgrades. Uh Uh, wait, can I Tetris this? I don't think I can. Not with these shapes. Uh, give me a minute, chat. Let me. Oh, uh, can I? Maybe? No, I don't think so. Almost. Almost, but I, I don't think I can. No, I'm going to have to lose a few. Goodbye, metal scraps. Goodbye. I saw people cutting sushi and adding in some salad sauce and calling it a salad. I don't know how they can do that. <gasps> rotting. Oh, it's rotting. It's rotting. It's rotting. Chat. The conger eels. They've been in an inventory for long enough. It's rotting now. Uh, Ingfell resident. Here is the aged conger eels you have asked for. <gasps> Let's go. Perfect. This will do wonderfully. I can, I can offer you a small sum and thanks. A hundred fifty. Safe travels. Not bad. 
Let's see. Know of any odd characters around these parts? Have you heard the tale of Magrin? He's an old whaler from these parts. Those whales get more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at seas trying to find them. Magrin, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found in one of the trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magrin the Fishman. One day, the town awoke to find all the boat's nets and lines had been slashed in the night, and old Magrin was nowhere to be found, nor has he been seen since. Interesting. Magrin the Fishman. Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legends tell of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement, and a huge battle was fought around the south of the cliffs. Certainly are a large number of wrecks there. Both sides were completely destroyed. The treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Ah, oh, treasure. Treasure, you say? Alright, let's take all this stuff back and then drop it on. Uh, whoa. It's a big chunky boy. Oh my god. Alright. Let's go ahead and sell off. I guess we only need a one. But that's fine. We'll go sell these off. And then I'm going to buy another reinforced crab pot. Go back into the ship dock. Repair. Floating dock. And now... Wood. And wood. Oh, we need one more, chat. Just one more bolt. And once we have that bolt of cotton, we'll be able to upgrade from there. Let's go. Alright. Yalo, thank you so much for the super chat. This reminds me of a time uh, I went to a restaurant. I always go to. I always go to. There was a group of rich men that order enough food to cover the table and only nibble on it. Oh my god! Yeah, I, f I feel that's really gross behavior. But some people, some people. Thank you for the super chat, Yalo. I. Ah. <gasps> What? Decorator crab? Half covered in half covered itself in detritus, this creature hardly resembles a crab at all. <gasps> For the crab statue, yeah. But how do we make it how do we form the, the shape of the crab statue? Because the crab statue is like a, a nine, a three by three square. So how do we fit these in there into a three by three square? Is it just one of each crab? It would have to be like this, like one, two, three. Maybe it's these three that it's looking for. Let's go give it a shot. Zoom. Because it asked for three crabs. And maybe only one of them has to be the, the one with the... Uh, one, only one has to be the one with the rocks. Let's go check it out. Gonna go swing by the south side. Where's the rock? Ah, there's the rock. Crab rock. Okay, so this one would have to be like that. And then we have a two square crab. <gasps> the three crabs shudder, legs clicking into strange angles. Though long dead, some unforeseen power commands their corpses into action. The crabs scuttle over the altar, disappearing into cracks and stone. 
Suddenly the rock splits in two, revealing a sunken chamber at its core. Wow. Mouth of the Deep? Yield around three per day, six by six, a formidable cage with a gaping maw, sure to swallow up anything unlucky enough to stumble into it. Oh, it's like a cursed crab pot. <gasps> Ooh. I want to, I want to, can we get more of these? I want to get more of these. That's so cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Whoa. Where, <laughs> Where did you come from, Salmon? How did you... Uh, did the... <laughs> did the water spout throw the salmon on board? <laughs> There's a random black salmon that I... A black mouth salmon that ended up on my... <laughs> Hip it for the the super chat cursed crab for extra spicy crab cakes. Heck yeah. Let's go spicy crab cakes skyfish right just jumped in we'll take it we'll take it all right got one piece of cotton and we're empty nice fish from the gods at least it was a trade it did one damage to me but also gave me free uh oh oh my gosh oh my gosh can you please, can you not? Excuse me. Oh my god. Oh no. There's no way to get out of here, is there? <laughs> Alright, we'll just get out of here. We'll just go, we'll just go. Um, before I head out for good, though, I want to go pick up that... Um, I want to pick up my crab traps the ones that we set up here and then take them back over to the main area um, oh gosh another one whoa okay pick up I can't do that right now Can I? whoa <laughs> oh my god alright let's go sell all of that it's like, um, what is it? It's like in GT in Grand Theft Auto, when you're being hunted by the by the police and you have all those stars in front of you, right? And then the moment you enter your apartment, it all disappears. Like, oh, darn it! He got back home. We can't we can't chase him down anymore. Can't arrest him. No sir. <laughs> it's like, oh man, he, he went back inside. Got to get him next time. Oh wait, that's right. My ship is a little bit damaged, a bit busted, so... Cursed crab, we curse mine. Okay, sell some of that, and then before we leave, let's go and repair our ship. That way we have all the inventory space that we need. Perfect. Or Mr. X standing outside the Resident, the Resident Evil safe rooms, right? Because he can't enter the safe rooms, he just stands there and it's like, you... <laughs> just locking eye of contact and just staring at you, because he can't do anything. Alright. Let's sell all of that, and then... I want to head back... Back home. Manifest. There we go. And since we have a whole bunch ex extra crab traps, let's all go put them inside the the same place. That way it'll be very easy for us to manage all of the crabs. The only time Mr. X can't give it to you. <laughs> it's okay, Mr. X. We all we all suffer from performance anxiety sometimes. Yeah, look at that. Look at all of that. Perfect. Okay. 
ship right. Let's get some upgrades. Dry dock, there we go. A bolt of cotton. Let's go. The last, last one over here is the new hull, which is plus 15. Do I have money though? I have 61, 62 dollars. No, we have to like do a lot of uh, farming now. Storage, take that out there, take that there. Got some wood, got some refined metal. And then the rest of it, I think we'll hold on because once we upgrade, we will unlock these, which also require some scrap. Two scrap, four scrap, four scrap, and two scrap. So we'll hold on to those. But for now, let us just farm some crabs because we're running pretty low on water. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. Cash poor but crab rich. Sell all two hundred and sixty dollars of the scrap or crabs. Yeah. Storage, put you away. Unduck. Ooh, look at that. Look at oh my god. Crab bakes all day long, every day. You know, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. You can uh, get lots of sleep. Get lots of rest. I need some sleep and rest too. Deadly as catch. <laughs> Here, let's pick up, pick them all up, so that we can all. Um, what I'm thinking is, we pick them all up and just have them, so that we can go and repair them all at the same time. So, crab trap, crab trap. Crab trap and crab trap. Here we go. Now we head over to the shipwright and let's go give them all the repair. And now they're good to go. So what we can do is pop forward and then... Just like that. And now they're all perfectly synced up. And now, while we wait for that to happen, let us go explore. Also put that in the math. Yeah, we put that in the math trap, but you can't tell. Because they have the same models, unfortunately. What do you think this scary crab trap will trap? Probably just a lot of those small ones. <sighs> Alright, so. We have four research parts. I still want to get this. Because that's the only thing that we can get to catch Abyssal and Hadal stuff. But we don't have it right now, so I guess we'll have to put our money somewhere else. Hmm. Wait, excuse me. Time for a stretch break. Oh yeah, we should. Hmm. are good trawling nets should we get some trawling nets maybe mangrove shallow volcanic coastal uh, 12 per day coastal shallow I mean it's okay to have it right I guess I mean I, I remember having these and being a little bit uh, annoyed with the upkeep that it took Mangrove, shallow, volcanic, coastal. I don't think we've actually gotten too many volcanic ones, so... We can get this one. Uh, shipwright. Get some nets. Coastal, 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 volcanic, and coastal. Hmm... Can I put you anywhere else? I think I can rearrange this a little bit just so that I can keep all the equipment on top 
And now I can buy you. Install you there. So while that does look a little funny, at least this way we'll have all the tools. You know what here? Actually, we can flip you around. Like that. To make them kind of even. But yeah. Nice. Alright, time to take another nap. More naps. More naps. <laughs> Hopefully this way we can kind of speed up the amount of crabs that the buckets will catch. <gasps> Actually, chat. We should uninstall all of these. I know it's going to take some time to like install and reinstall, but we don't really need all this space right now being used. So we can take all of these out. And this way we have the entire ship's hull opened up for space for the crabs. Like that. Because it doesn't cost anything to uninstall and reinstall. So now, with the full... Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, but we're also like super slow. <laughs> Fishmonger. $322. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're so rich on crabs. I can't believe this strategy actually works. It's amazing. There we go. And then let's open up another space up here. All right. Scoot and crabs. Scoot and crab. Scoot and crab. I'm pretty sure I could fit that other one in here somehow if I just if I just tweak these a little bit. Like um Wait, I can't put it back. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> okay. There go. Do that. Do that. I think we may have to get rid of one of the crabs. I can't seem to find a way. Because it won't let me drop it off to pick up another one. Like, I can't leave it around. Unfortunately. Oh, the sound effect though of the crab. No. I think I'll have to leave you away. Farewell, crab. <laughs> Alright. Now let's head back over here. 318. Not bad. Alas, yeah, alas, farewell, crab. More crab. More crab. And we're good. Alright, now. 900, almost $200. We're back up to a thousand. Perfect. <gasps> yeah. Alright, let's get these ready. Should we grab more? No, I must resist. We already have way too many crab. Way too many of these. Okay, let's put the engines back. So that we don't have to like float around super slow. Engines back. And now we go over to the shipwright. Repair all of the traps. Traps we could. Undock. Move forward a little bit. And then from here, we drop all the crabs again. Yeah. And now we get to go reinstall all the stuff over here again. Install that. Install this. 
install the net. And now we get to install the fishing lines. And fishing lines here. Perfect. Alright, let me go organize this a little bit. Okay. Uh, we must produce industrial quantities of crab. It'd be funny if I find a way to sell your engine, right? Maybe that's that's probably why, given how slow it moves without the engine power. Wait. Alright, check. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna go and go to another idle meeting real quick. So I'll be right back. I'll leave you here with some nice cozy music. I'll raise the volume a little bit so that it's a uh, it's nice ambiance. But yes, I'll be right back, chat. Give me just a minute. <gasps>
chat. I am back. All right. It is now time to crab once more. <laughs> Wait, are they even good? Oh, there's barely anything in here. We'll come back later, later in the week. And then... Ooh. Wait, excuse me. All right. Are we crabbing now, Mr. Krabs? I'm a little worried because we've only discovered 35 out of 138 species that we're probably not going to be able to... Like, unless I just only go after the lore and the stories. Putting the ring in the stellar basin. Necklace and twisted strand. Necklace and twisted strand. Ring in the stellar basin. Let's head over to the stellar basin and see if we can make any... Uh, any progress. Maybe we might not be able to f catch the fanged snapper fang fangfish I don't know what it's called but maybe we might be able to get some progress done I hope that the next relic isn't stuck underneath an abyssal fishing hole I hope not but we will see have to crab in other places ah oh. but I want to crab right next to the Right next to where the shops are. It makes everything convenient. <laughs> Alright. Let us continue, chat. Ooh. Perfect. Let's get some wood. Convenient crabbing. O honestly, like, all this talk of a crab in this game has made me want to try eating some crab. But in reality, it's probably not like the actual crab crab. I would rather just have imitation crab meat because I feel that's a lot easier to eat, manage, and like prepare. My favorite thing to do though is to get imitation crab meat and then mix it in with some cream cheese and then have like crab cream cheese bagels. It's so good. Minty, hello, Aquady, even give her re-upping the membership. Feels like time has really flown by. Have you had? Hope you've had slash had some tasty food today. I did. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome back. For, thank you for re-upping the membership. Thank you. Thank you. What did I have today, actually? Oh, yeah. Um, I went and got popcorn chicken. There's a boba place that sells also popcorn chicken and I got some of that that was pretty good I, 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 I swear the popcorn chicken that the boba places sell hits so differently than popcorn chicken that anywhere else sells I don't know why but it's just so much better Let's see we've already explored that Let's sweep around the sides of these islands and see if we can find anything interesting that might give us more lore, or maybe we should head over into the actual islands themselves. Did you get boba too? I actually skipped boba. I did not get boba. I just had, ooh. What is that? Oh my God, they're so cute. What are you? Oh, they're danger they're, they're danger jellyfish. Okay. Oh, ooh, sparkle, sparkle. Okay. There we go. Firefly squid. Ooh. Um, but yeah, I didn't get any boba this time. I went and just got the chicken because I was hungry. Wow! A radiant squid? A beacon from the depths below. A glimpse into a new sky. Ooh. So many. Alright, uh. Wow. Oh. 
chat, do you see how many like spots there are? The yellow, the blue spots of light. Whoa, that is so cool. <gasps> Can I park my boat here? No, I cannot. I love that, like, bioluminescent coral. Ooh. A stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Place your hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. We are too sane. We are too... Too un... Like, too properly hinged. Uh-oh. That's not a real ship. That's one of those angler ships. Gotta watch out for that. Oh! <gasps> Do we risk it? Oh, oh. I don't think we can risk it. If I get close to the center, oh, it gets angry. Okay, let's dredge this while we're waiting. At the very least, what we can do is wait for the time to pass and maybe we can scoop it up in the morning. Maybe we can scoop it in the morning when it's not, not down there. That's so cool. Oh my god. I wonder if I, how, how close can I get to it before it gets angry? Ooh. Ooh. Man, I love this game. Just a little bit. It's really cool, isn't it? Look at that. Thank you so much for the super chat, Rizzy. Ooh. Okay. Uh oh. I think it's just permanently here. Like, if I try to get close to it, it'll turn red. And it it won't let me get close. How do I scoop you? Stop teasing the, the Eldritch Warriors. <laughs> okay, aside from like the crazy psychic storms and all that, but look at the water. Look how pretty that is. I have this net. In my net, I have nothing. Oh, wait, hold up. I should put up my net. There we go. All right. Chad, do you guys think I can just swim through it really fast with the net? And then hopefully it scoops up whatever that thing was. Because I can see it like if you look right underneath the eyeball, do you see the little sparkle of red right there? If I, if I like boat straight through it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Scoop. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. No, that thing does so much damage so quickly. What? Okay, okay. We're all, let's not mess around with it. 
that's not <laughs> let's not mess around with that you boy okay this looks all broken is there a is there like survivors here because if they are survivors then we might be able to sell some stuff but until then It's the outpost trader on the little floating thing. Let's go. This is why you don't bug you know that many times in a single day. <laughs> thank you for the super check gift straight. Thank you, thank you. The laboratory is in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Let's open the cupboards. You check the cupboards. Oh, take that. And then let's check out the equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It says, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Look around the floor. You look around the floor. There are cracks at the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Ooh. What happened here? Generator? An old generator sputters and ticks over. Man, I feel kind of sad. All right. Hmm. I'm thinking we need some kind of a decoy. I think we need something to distract the Kraken. Oh my god. I almost want to just teleport back home and restart because we got so we took so much damage. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just go back. Manifest. Yeah, there's too much. Uh, we took too much damage, so our our stuff is super like hindered. So let's head back over there, and then we will recover and repair our stuff. The dock lady. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the dock lady. The floating platform that we found there was, um, it was abandoned. There was like a research facility on there, but then, but then after that, there was not much else. Ship right. Repair the ship. Perfect. Go to the dry dock for the new hull. Let's put some of the materials that we found here. We need bolts of cotton and then two refined metals. Hmm. I wonder if you could repair the resource platform, perhaps? Maybe? Let's go sell these. 113 total. Not bad, not bad. Storage. Hmm. I kind of want to get rid of all of these somehow. We end up with a lot of these metal scraps that take up so much spots. But we don't really need them. We need the other stuff. We need like wood and things. Take all. Pick up and pick up. Pick up. All right. Let's go sell the crabs. Hope you like crabs. Delicious. Storage. And then we put away some of the crab pots here. Open up some space. And now we can go and grab the others. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Nice. Oops, all crabs. Yeah. <laughs> 
I really like this strategy because the crabs, they just kind of collect it themselves over time, just on their own. And I really like that because I can just come back here and although it's a little bit clunky because of the uh, interface, it makes it very easy to scoop up a few things and then just sell it all. Just like that. And now storage. Let's go take all of these out. And then let's repair them. 1,300, okay. And then go ahead and drop in all the crabs. Yeah. You can place the upgrade mats in this slip. Well, yeah, we, like I know how to do that one, but like I don't have anything that fits in here and I cannot access these. Like I can't, clicking these doesn't actually open up the thing. So I can't put in any of the scrap that I have unless I unlock the previous one. All right, you know what? We're just gonna throw away all this scrap. Maybe not all of it, maybe just some of it. This way we open up some space for some wood. Uh... Hmm. Should we upgrade to a different engine? Perhaps that might help us out, because if we can go faster... Huh. Improved outboard engine, 15.8 knots. Could help out a little bit. Maybe we just upgrade our twin prop engine. Maybe? I want to get something like this. This is also... Hmm. Jet drive engine, 9 knots. We don't have enough for this yet, though, so... Large troll net survives for, lasts for three days. Yield is 12 per day. Eight by eight, coastal and shallow only though. Coastal and oceanic. Hmm. I think we can focus on the engines instead because this is the what will get us moving around a lot faster. Twin prop engine is now available. This is twin jet. 52 knots. Oh my god. I'd like to get that. Alright, can I have do I have space for that? I think I can take this one off and then flip you like that and then install here. And then I could take this one off, uninstall it, put it in this storage. And then at the shipwright, let's go buy that upgraded engine. Ah, <gasps> there we go. Would it would make sense to have them all. 26.3 plus 15. 26.3 plus 15 is almost 40. It's a little bit over 40. This by itself is just 36. I guess we can hold off on it for now. Because combining all of these is a lot more efficient. Because this way we have three engines and they all contribute a grand total of 78 knots. Ooh. Also, because if, it, um, if we do take damage, like a single, like an X in the middle right here will only knock out this one engine here as opposed to knocking out all of it or like a big chunk because they're in such smaller portions. 78 knots though. All right. Uh, let's go sell these. And then afterwards, we'll head back over there to... Oh, look how fast we are. Oh my god. Look at that. Whoa, we're so fast. <gasps> Try 
that if it's seven engines, oh, I, if we get the small upgrade, if we can find like a whole bunch of uh, scrap for that, then yeah. Let's sell this. Wait. Ooh. Biggie, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night and sweet dreams. <sighs> I wonder if we can talk to... We've already talked to them. Dock worker? The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. Let's just stay with him for a little bit and just see how he, how he feels. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally, a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes labored. Stay with him a bit more. He strains, clutching his fists, eyes shut tight with effort. A tear rolls down his cheeks. We don't have to say anything. We can just be... We can just spend some time with him. See if he's okay. His body relaxes subtly and his eyes snap open again. They're cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. <sighs> was he infected by... Was he infected? What was that? A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. Ooh. Okay. Well then. I guess we'll just leave him alone. I, I don't know what else we can do for them. Ooh. It was the package you gave him. That was a long time ago. But man, I hope he didn't eat anything. Okay. Nice. Let's go drop this off before it goes stale because... Look how fast we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Did he eat the infected fish? I think he did. Which is odd because the fishmonger, I remember, had asked for a aberration, aberrant fish. And I don't know what the fishmonger did. Like, the assumption is that the fishmonger had, like, eaten it too. But who knows? I, I do not judge them. If they want to eat their spooky fish. Whoa. If they want to eat the spooky fish, by all means, go for it. We know that some of them think that they can eat the spooky fish and gain powers from it, but I don't think that's how it works. Meat is just meat. Unfortunately, there's no, like, power to be gained from it. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, we're so fast. Zoom, zoom. Alright, let's see. I want to try heading back over here to the research outpost and these two spots that we have not checked yet. I wonder how much of himself is still in there. How much can he control of his own body? Who knows? No? Ah, <gasps> dolphins! Cute! 
Very cute. <laughs> All right, let's go with super speed. Zoom. <gasps> what is that? Okay, wait, there's a lot of things that are catching my attention. I want to look at the red sparkles. What are these red sparkles? Abyssal disturbed water. No. What is that? Oh. I wonder if the people here. Because I see a dock, so. I wonder if there are people here. Maybe they can help us expl uh, figure out how to go. Oh, jellyfish. Nice. Researcher. Ooh. Um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, uh, yes. I thought you had the look. But a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had, if you had the time. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost in the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and did making, making do the best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all them all. Collect all of them. Oh. We have jellyfish, glowing octopus, firefly squid. Ooh, we know where we can find firefly squids. What sort of creature attacked you? Well, I got the sense it was attacking the research outpost itself, rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I'd guess that's some sort of octopus or squid or anemone. One of my research vessels was moored in the back of the station, so I managed to slip away while it was tearing the part at the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment, and equipment left there. But I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. Alright. Yeah, we know where the Firefly Squid is, but let's go check it out. Uh, let's go back, get the squid, and then see if we can f find some of the old pieces of their... Ooh, find some old pieces of her research. Clouds, thank you for stopping by. I hope you get lots of sleep. Not the place you found earlier, a hundred percent. Yeah. March 6th and 7th, 1972. We're engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very center of the stellar basin to see the lights. We talked for hours, something we have not done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Sometime, sometime past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I can't even I cannot even remember what he said. Or what I said. But I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right of, right the way around. Can I take my eyes off it? P.S. I'm not I wasn't I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction of days. But I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Oh, cute. Cute. We thank you for the stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful sleep, get lots of rest, and sweet dreams. Ooh, a storm. Alright, 
let's go see. See, there's the thing again. The red spire. The red lights. I want to go... Hmm... So the thing that she mentioned was that... Whoa! Oh, I kind of chill. Think it was something by. The thing that she mentioned was that it was probably attacking the research outpost because it was making noise. I wonder if we can trick it to. Can we like horn? Uh, that's not what I expected in response. <laughs> I wonder if I can use the horn to attack, like, annoy it? Or is it just physical presence? Yeah, it's just physical presence. It doesn't look like the horn does anything, so we'll have to find another way to generate lots of noise. Parhelian jellyfish. Ooh. I'd be annoyed by the horn. Yeah. Generator. The laboratory's in ruins. Let's see if we can inspect the equipment and see if we can find anything that we can take out. Can't see any use of them right now. Not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuate to fort. Guess not yet. Hmm. We'll have to come back here and find something else to to progress that research station with. Let's see. In the meantime, let us go find... Ah! There we go. Glowing octopus. Oh, it looks so cute. It looks so tired. Its eyes are like, it's like closed eyes. It's kind of sleepy. Aww. Sorry for taking you out of the water. Oh, it's so cute. Me right now? Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, I'm also feeling really tired too. I'm not sure why, but you know, of all of all the days, like today has been kind of like tiring. So let's go and researcher. I have your glowing octopus. Now we only find is a firefly squid. So let's go grab that squid. It's been an entire day. What? No. Rip octopus. Well, I guess not rip. It just went back to where it was. Hmm. Let's go find where the squids are, and then see if we can collect a few. Just one squid is enough. Ah, <gasps> wood. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Let's get some wood because we'll need this as an upgrade. And then I guess after we do this little adventure here, we can go back home and then collect all the crabs. And once we collect the crabs, use the money to buy the refined metals because it's a lot easier to manage the upgrades by buying the uh, refined metals than it is to try to find them. A ring? Yes. All right. Let's go check out some of the other areas around here in this basin. See if we can figure out some kind of... <gasps> Are you a trader? It looks like a trading outpost. Let's go. Nice. Let's go ahead and sell them all. I don't know how to map... 
I still don't know how I managed to capture an octopus in a crab trap years ago, but I didn't know how to prepare this food, so I used it as bait. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to be super maneuverable and able to like, get out of there. Thank you for the super chat, Gimster. Does your net have a firefly squid? No. Unfortunately. Alright, let's see. One engine. Uh, I don't want to get this. I really don't. It's too chunky. It's way too chunky. You know? I want to focus on this. Because if we can get one of this into every single slot, I think that would be very useful. <laughs> Alright. Oh, they sell all from the net too, if you sell all? Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> Let's go repair everything. I'll have to watch out for that next time. Alright. Wood. Bolts of cotton. Bolts of cotton. I can buy one of these and then we'll need to find two more bolts of cotton. Ooh, there we go. One refined metal. We can afford all these research parts too, so we might as well. Malevolent being, hello. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yo, I mentioned I was playing Dredge last week. Happy to see you playing it again. Cozy game to watch. Thank you, Shimmy. Happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much for the first super chat. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, I want to try to do my best to like finish as much as we can uh, before the next week starts. But I, with the pace that we're going, I don't, I, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get to that point. <laughs> Alas. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. It took me a little while to get back into the groove, but once I did, I think it's uh it's all kicking back in again. Okay. Little trinkets that we can sell. Then shipyard. Oh wait, sorry, not shipyard, dry dock. Hull, and then toss you in here. Perfect. There we go. And now we can undock and continue exploring. Alright, where are the glow squid again? Uh, oh, firefly squid, that's what they call firefly squid. Firefly squid, firefly squid, stellar basin, firefly squid. Coastal appears at night. Okay, so we'll have to chill for a little bit until we find it at night. So, while we chill, let's explore the outside edges of these islands. See if there's anything interesting that we have not come across yet. <gasps> Ooh, some wood. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Maybe it's because I didn't have my uh, coffee, or I didn't have as much coffee as I usually do today. I was pretty busy, so I ended up only drinking one cup of coffee, um, instead of like the usual pot. Ooh. Waves lap at a pile of flotsam collecting on the beach. Nestled into the center is a wooden chest. Look inside. Ooh. Earrings. A large scrap of paper. I bet you that ties in with the other one that we have last time. <gasps> there we go. Let's get some squid. Ah, oh, it's the aberration. There we go. Perfect. Now we can head back over to the research post and they give the lady the squid. Don't lose the paper. I'll try my best not to. If worst case comes to worst, then we'll just teleport back home. Oh, uh, wait. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I could go this way. There it is. There it is. That's the one. Okay, okay. 
good, we're good. Oh. All right, researcher. Hello again. What did you need? About the specimens you're after. Can you give it the aberrant? I don't think so. Nah. No reaction. Give me the aberrant. Thank you. Looks like you've caught all the surface specimens I need. But, ah, uh, yes. I do need some from deeper down. But that's gonna be a problem. Why is that a problem? I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. It was over the research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples, but while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully, I suggest you go during the day. Would it want to be on the reef at night? <gasps> now we can get those prototype parts. Oh wait, 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 wait. Wait, I'm being silly, sorry. Storage. Let's save this first. I wonder if these like line up. Like that? Ah, oh, it does line up like that. This must be something else. We're missing a piece. The most important piece that tells us where the treasure is, the X. There is no X to mark a spot here. I know she said don't go during the night, but what's the worst that can happen? Oh. Be very quiet. Be very, very quiet. Okay. I think we're good now. <laughs> All right, we're going to swim around the outside and hopefully avoid most of the conflicts over there. Okay, and as long as we are able to dock, we should be good. There we go. Laboratory. Prototype parts are in here. After some searching, you find the prototype parts that the researcher needs to assemble the sampling device. Nice. You store the prototype parts on board. Alright. Now, we gotta just carefully make our way back. Oh. Ooh, okay. Almost hit that jellyfish. Alright, chat, let's go. Thankfully, I don't see any more dangers ahead of us. Other than the, the spooky clouds there. Okay. Nice. Just ran over it like in Subnautica. Alright. I had the prototype parts you asked for. Excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. A sampling device. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, I think we can uninstall this and then put it in storage, and then we will shuffle this to the side. No, we have to get rid of one of these. Hmm. I can put you here, like that, but one of these still has to go, unfortunately, because this is a one by three, so it has to be like one of these. Ah, it's a little awkward. Now, I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking. Or enrage it. I'm not sure. Connect this to the research outpost generator. You have to return and re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, 
It's completely automated. Oh, perfect. Now we gotta go find... Oh. They're all Abyssal Hadel. Ooh. Alright, we'll have to go find those later. In storage, let's go and see if we can take that off, place you here. Fishing line off, and place you here. Uh, we're gonna have to throw this one away because th there's no place to put it. And we have this oceanic hydraulic rod, but we don't really have a place to put it because there's not enough space, unfortunately. So we'll have to hold on to this for now until we can upgrade. Vanessa Soto, hello. Thank you so much for uh, reaping the membership. Meow. Oh, Koi Thank you, thank you. <gasps> Bottomless lines. Ooh. Improvement on the sampling device should at least operate at a reasonable speed. This one is fathomless winch. Ooh. Let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, we have, I, think, I think we have to upgrade our ship's uh, hull a little bit more before we're able to... Before we're properly able to fit that in there, though. Ooh. Oh, what is that? <gasps> is that another letter? It is! Let's go... The 14th of September. Ooh. Sorry about that, Jeff. Oh. September 14th, 1927. I have not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here, and they are illeg ineligi illegible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. Crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. What did he see? What was inside? Why was there a casket? What? page has been torn off here. A what? A casket. A ca so it's basically a little box that you put dead people in when you go to bury them. Why did they find one? Why was it doing in the water? Alright. A small object rolls out of a generator covered in dried salt. Activate the machine? Yes. The repulsion machine hums and whirs to life. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from the top and an alarm begins blazing. The researchers said they should keep the creature at bay for a time, at least. Okay. We have to rush. Let's go, go, go. Oh, the monster's gone! Okay. Uh... It's Hadel. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, you know what? We might as well take some of these while we're here then. Ooh. Nice. A sextant. Alright, let's see. Anything else? This is all Hadel. 
I remember there being one more uh, piece of treasure here. Ah, there we go, there we go. This is it, this is it. Let's go pick this one up. And then what I think we'll do is we'll head back home from this point. Because we can't really do much right now. If it, the relic is located at a hadal depth, there's nothing we can do. So let's head back home. And then we will use our upgrade points to upgrade and the uh, this one here, the sampling device. We'll upgrade it so that the uh, deeper... Ooh, so that the deep... Whoa! Oh my god, that was so close. So that the deeper uh, lines will also be able to reach both Abyssal and Halo. Oh, I don't know where that came from, but oh my god. Alright. Jen, thank you for stopping by. Hope you get lots of rest and sleep. Alright, let's see. Go to the ship, right? We're gonna go... Ah. Uh, 400. 400. Ooh. I think we'll I think we'll do it after we sell the crabs because right now it's like barely right there. Put those away. Put that here. Put the coin away. Nessie, thank you for stopping by. That we have a wonderful time at work. Take pick up and take all. Pick up and take all. Let's see. Fishmonger. Two hundred. Nice. Storage. Let's go put these away for now. And then grab the other ones. Uh no, my hole. What? Oh. Why is this ship made of paper? <laughs> this ship is so squishy. Okay. Alright, let's go back and sell these. Sell all of that. Perfect. Storage, put you away. Open up some more space in the inventory. Go back up here, pick up the crabs. Pick up more crabs. Paper mache boat, yeah. There we go. And now, come over here, pick up the rest. One more, I think. Oh, no, two more? Yeah, those are not going to fit. <laughs> so the fish teeth won't have any trouble chopping yet. <laughs> Alright. But like, they're supposed to be like really spooky. Spooky fish. So like eldritch horror fish with like extra strong teeth that are supposed to be strong enough to break down the hulls of all these ships. Let's go pick this up and then the last one. Do they fit? I don't think they fit. I can fit one. Yeah. I'm both sleepy and motivated right now. Time to write until I sleep. Nice. Love to hear that. Hope you have a wonderful time writing. And then now, let's go ahead. With all the fish sold, we have a total of about $1,400. Perfect. Now, before we can spend any of that, we have to go repair. So, shipwright, compare, repair. It only costs a hundred to repair them all. Perfect. And now, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go backwards and put the crab traps here because there's a bit more space to uh to wiggle around here at the back. All right. Now we can go to the research. Two parts. No, 
we're gonna have to go find. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to go find the trader because she's the one who sells the reinforced metal piece. Because we only need one more. We need just a single reinforced metal piece, and then we can get the upgrade. I'm gonna say it's probably more efficient to get the two by two rod. We'll see. We'll see. Sleep. Okay. Okay. We'll sleep. We'll sleep soon. It's okay, chat. I just want to grab the upgrade. Zoom, zoom. I <laughs> just a crumb off sleep. Oh, it's a shark. Ooh. Shark in the water. Mm. All right. Here we go. Trader. Give me your reinforced scrap. Uh, oops, wrong one. Shipyard. Reinforced scrap. Perfect. And now, with that, we get to finally upgrade this. Oh, look at that, chat. Yeah, got all the reinforced. Now we can just swim around the circle around the basin here. You know what? Why don't we? Why don't we just buy the research points too? Because we might as well have them, right? And now we can upgrade to this one. One, two, three. Fathomless winch. How much is the fathomless winch? Oh, it's $600. Oh, gosh. We're gonna have to do some crabbing. Gonna have to do some more crab. Alright. Whoa! Get back in the ocean. What are you doing here? <laughs> it's the random fish landing on my deck. <laughs> this is the second time I hit a water spout and then a random fish ends up on my ship. <laughs> uh, where did they all come from? Okay, okay. Let's swing around the outside. Let's, like, stay far away from the edges, you know. And then we're going to be looking for <laughs> the fish, right? They could be from the water, the ocean. All right, let's see if we can find some bolts of cotton, because I remember this place having a pretty good supply of bolts of cotton. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. there's more. It's the fish from Subnautica, you isekai. They, oh my god, imagine if you were, if it, like, if that's how it happened, right? You easy guy from one game to another. <laughs> you die in Subnautica, and then you end up in Dredge, and then you die in Dredge, and you end up in, I don't know, whatever, other, some other ocean-based game. And then that's all you do, you just cycle through games over and over again. <laughs> uh, he's a kind of the Eldritch world. Nice. A little more. We might as well stock up a bit on wood and scrap metal here. And then... Bolts? No, those are conger eels. Oh, you might wind up in raft. <laughs> and then in sand aquarium. I hear a tornado. Let's get away from it. All right, let's see. Oh gosh, I can't see anything actually. Uh, we'll go around the other side because I remember there being some sections. Um, it's stuck inside like little valleys where there was some bolts of cotton. Around here, I think. Ooh. 
I can I just say this thing right here, how the rock appears in front of you. Like this is the smartest thing I've ever seen. Because like you need to have this. Um, at some point, like people players will get so good at the game where they like memorize the map and they don't have to need a flashlight. But that kind of defeats the, the whole tension of the game, right? So having those like a surprise moments, so surprise bits inside. What was that sound? Where your new lights from see the rocks? Yeah, I really like that. These look like uh, bolts of cotton. No, it's all just darn. Uh, I think it's all just scrap, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll have to come back in the morning later when it's brighter. Let's see anything else? Not that I can tell. Uh, and now we're leaving too far away from the... Ooh! <gasps> wood. Do I have space for wood? I do not. Conger eels. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, what the heck? <gasps> what? That thing is so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> How am I supposed to dodge that? That's way too fast. Okay. Well, at least stay now, so... Let's go drop off all our stuff. Sleep? No! I refuse to sleep. I don't want to sleep, Chad. Bolts of cotton. Ah, that's all I'm missing. Okay, shipyard. You look tired. If you don't get some sleep, you'll start seeing things. Why don't you rest up before you're heading back out? Man, even the game's telling me to go to sleep. <laughs> Man. Alright, let's repair all that. Go into our storage. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh no, we're running out of space now again. Okay. Put that there. Oceanic. Do I need this, chat? Do I need this oceanic one? Wait. Oh wait, no, we don't, because this one already has oceanic too. We can sell this one. Mommy, my mommy, thank you so much for the super chat. I live in the waters of Hong Kong. The fish here swim fast as a rocket. Every day when I go out, I will get knocked away by them. <gasps> oh no! Please be careful. Please be careful. Do not get knocked over by fish. But it's really cool. You can st stand far away and take a picture of them. <gasps> oh, <laughs> thank you for the second super chat. Originally, I wanted to ask you, what would you do in the same situation, but in your case, when someone bumps into you, bounces off your muscles, uh, probably just catch them and ask them if they're okay. Because I know that being a little bigger, it's easier to, like, accidentally bump into someone. So, if I accidentally do bump into someone or someone bumps into me, I just want to ask and see if they're okay. <laughs> to make sure that they're not hurt. Because I don't want to accidentally hurt someone. But yeah, that's what I would do. All right, let's go ahead and put some of these away. I want to sell this. Can I just go directly sell, or do I have to go through the... Oh, it looks like I have to. He would catch you in his arms exactly, chat. That's what I would do. Uh, storage. Let's sell this. Nice. And now we have some more cargo space. Or storage space. I'll put you here, put that here. And then we can sell these to the, the merchant, the trader person. Uh, for now, let's see. 
don't need these. Shipyard, anything over here? Hmm. I could afford some of the research parts, but I do want to save them because... Nah, actually, no. We can sell... We have these trinkets to sell, so we might as well take them too. Storage away for safekeeping. And then we have this upgrade here. Ready. Engines. Pots. Nets. Uh, no, I think we, go. we could just put them on the engine, this one here. Alright, and now... We go back. Very sweet. Squeeze them. <laughs> no wonder the fish are jumping out at you. <laughs> they wouldn't be caught and held. But then they'll they they'll suffocate if they're out of the water for too long. Sleep. Oh my god, that's right. Is the sleep deprivation making the game graphics different, or is it my own sleep deprivation? No, you're right. Um it doesn't you can't tell it on the center but on the edges of the screen like see how it go there you have that chromatic aberration filter which makes it kind of look like it's almost splitting apart in like different shades of red and green or red and blue but all right let's go to sleep it's okay you take their breath away anyway no but then they will suffocate <laughs> Man, see, this is what I want to do. I want to sleep for like 62 hours and then just wake up and be like, what, what year is it? Oh my god. As a koi, I will risk myself to jump into your arms. <laughs> this looks like scrap. It does not, yeah. We're going to ignore this for now. Ignore the wood. I know there was a place here with bolts of cotton fairly consistently. Scrap again. Where did the bolts of cotton go? I remember farming for it over here while earlier this stream. Oh, maybe that over there? I bet they're not okay because they bump into your chest plates. <laughs> Please do not hurt yourself. Okay, let's pop over here, swing around these. Ah, <gasps> bolts of cotton. Let's go. Ow. And one. Ah, <gasps> give me one more, one more. All I need is one more for the upgrade. I don't like that color. What's with the aberration? Yeah. Any more? No. That's good enough. All right. Let's go. <gasps> we have enough to upgrade. Zoom. Perfect. All right. Now let's look at the new hull. Let's see what that looks like. Floating dock. New hull. One bolt of cotton. One bolt to cotton, and we are actually two port to four Eddie upgrades. Okay, we'll head back. Undock, and then manifest. Time to head back. Perfect. And now we go back here, and we're going to go grab all of the crabs. Short on money. It's always the money, right? It's always the money. <laughs> there we go oh wait no we get here to farm the crabs so <gasps> let's sell the trinkets first because that'll be an extra little bit of cash too it's like an anime where the person's running with toast in their mouth and bumps into their senpai and paper flies everywhere oh no <laughs> I it's such a silly trope, but I actually kind of like that trope. I think it's really cute. Uh, like, oh. Uh, must be the 
faulty wiring, right? Nothing spooky, just a faulty wiring. I think it's cute because it's like a really cheap way to bring two characters together to like interact with one another in like at least a semi-believable way, you know? Honk honk, he forgot the raid. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Battalion. Welcome, Battalion. Thank you for stopping by. I hope uh, Battle had a good stream <laughs> today. <laughs> Manual Rain. Hello, hello. Welcome, Battalion. Koinichiwa. Chasuichi Shinri from Marvel Stars English Guild Tempest. Manual Raid because Battle for Gar was so chilled. Hey, Battle. Good to see ya. Hope your stream went well. I'm running out of space, chat. I think I'll have to toss a few over here. Like that. Just to open up some space. It was indeed chill. Nice. I am scared to know what kind of chill. Yeah, he's really chill. <laughs> the chillest I've ever seen. I don't know if this is sarcasm or if he actually is. Because I do, I have known Battle 2 to be chill from time to time. Like, actually chill. <laughs> so chill on day one of Chill Week. What, what did you do today? ASRMR screaming? Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Ooh, spiky mouth. Huh, can I have one more? Mm, I don't think it fits. No, it doesn't fit. Maybe a little to the left? Oh, I know that game. A little to the left. That's such a sweet game. I love that game so much. It's so wholesome. That, you know, that one is absolutely 100% really chill. Man. That's really nice. I hope you had fun with uh, a little to the left. I know for... Uh, I, I played that myself a while back when it came out. Had a lot of fun with it. He beat the game. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pick one of these up. And... And this time, we're just going to swim out here. A little bit further out, and then we will drop Tokyo Drift. <laughs> All right. I still don't actually think we have enough money to buy the upgrade, so we can then well, but we can then instead spend the money on more crab traps. It's like a fishing game, kind of. It's a little, it's a pretty cute fishing game where you get to go and set some traps and collect some fish, make some money, pay off your loans, um, eat some, eat some fish too. Sometimes you come across people who have eaten too many fish and then are infected with an eldritch horror where they stand at the pier stare off into the distance glossy eyed and drooling with purple ooze coming out of their ears but you know it's the usual stuff right nothing too nothing too out of the ordinary <laughs> all right let's go ahead and dock real quick um I think what we can do is just get rid of some of these. Abyssal Hadal Oceanic. Uninstall this and then send it to storage, but oh, we can't send it to storage. Uh oh. Can we sell it? No. Uh, I guess we have to just have to leave it here. <laughs> hmm. Let's sell the fishnet. And then in its place, we will buy this. 
Okay, excuse me. And then... Ooh. It's money. It's just money. That's all we need. Oh, it's so bright. Look at that. So the only thing we need to upgrade is... A thousand five hundred dollars. We have everything else, but we are a little bit low. About half of that. So, let us go fishing. Like, actually fishing for money this time, instead of just relying on the crabs. Blue mackerel. <gasps> Wait, now that we have the faster fish boat that can sink, er... Uh, that can, like, fish deeper waters? Let's fish for these. Oh. Whoa. Bloodskin shark. Tendons and sinews stretch over the fins of this bloodied predator. Powerful jaws are clad in exposed muscle. Ooh, it's so gross. What the heck? Tendons and sinews? What happened to the skin? Why is there no skin on this shark? <gasps> this one is so cute. Look at this one. Look at this one over here. Bronze Whaler. Look at the little eye. It is a little guy. Sharks are smooth. No, sharks are actually really coarse and rough. If you pet a shark, it's like petting sandpaper. Uh, they have like really the, the scales um, on their bodies. Make it so very, uh, it's very difficult for like, uh, like things to like grow on them. So they're like sandpaper. Ah! <gasps> Uh, <laughs> I don't know where to put you. Okay, that way. How do you know that? I don't like know personally. I just went online and I read it. Not scales. Denticles. Sharks are covered in teeth. They even have enamel. Oh, so that's what gives them the rough paper, uh, sandpaper-like feeling. Ooh. There, little blow rolls. That's so cool. Fishmonger. All right, let's sell all of this. Four hundred more dollars to go. And then with the four hundred, we have to afford that last upgrade. Let's see. Any more deep ocean water? Oh, there's a few over here that might be pretty good fishing. Yeah. Even pet pet nurse or lemon sharks, super cute swimmy puppies. Oh, my heart in this melts at the description of calling them super super cute swimmy puppies. That's really cute. <laughs> Teeth skin. Ugh. I mean, to be fair, they really do basically just act like puppies underwater. Like, sometimes they're angry, other times they're just really sweet. Uh. Ooh. No, 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 no. Uh. Haste, haste. <gasps> Get out. Ooh. Ooh. Back off, back off, back off. You can't get down here. The water's too shallow for you. <laughs> oh my god. I think the scariest part is just how discordant the horn is. It's such a... It's like it plays in like... Like a minor key. It just sounds off. You know? Oh, it's so creepy. Let's get some squid. Squid. Ooh. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellow cricket teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. That's the one thing I really don't like, chat. There's, um... 
there's like uh there's a certain brand of like dog treats dog food i think where they photoshopped human teeth onto the the smiling face of a dog it's just so creepy i don't know who ever thought it was good but like oh let's let's make a picture of a dog with human teeth and it's just it's so eerie like the first time i saw it i was so put off by just how unnatural it looked you know <gasps> trophy caught 33 centimeters bacon brand maybe i don't remember the, what the brand is i just remember seeing something like that yeah super uncanny it's uncomfortable to look at right you gotta wonder like some people who are like putting it together the marketing team they're like all right so what what image do we want to put on top of you know our our brand it's like a dog and was like yeah that makes sense we sell dog treats therefore there should be a dog on the picture but how do we make it even better and they'll like make it smile but make it smile with human teeth so I guess like in a way their like marketing worked because now I'm thinking about it you know Ooh. host eel numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended ribcage the rest of the fish is withered and drained Ooh. If anything, the descriptions that they use for these, oh my god. Like, I, I can see the picture of the eel here, right? But like, the way that it describes, like, flickering and squirming behind the distended ribcage, like, you can like really see it in your mind, and it's so gross. But also kind of cute. Cause like they have a big chubby belly and you want to poke it i want to poke it i want to know what it's like when you poke it <laughs> i bet you they'd be like aside from the fact that they're like corrupted by this weird eldritch like thing they'd still be cute right because like this is what i'm thinking um, chat, if you, have you ever picked up, like, an animal? Like, a cat? Like, you pick them up, right? And they just kind of vibe. They don't really do much. They just kind of let you hold them, you know? That's what I'm thinking, like, it's gonna be an eel. It's got all these, like, weird eldritch growths and, like, teeth and all that sticking out, right? But at the end of the day, they're still just you know, regular animals. So, like, I bet you, if you, like, pet it, it would just, you know, respond the same way. Elder Taurus are cute if you're not a coward, right? Imagine just, like, I don't know. I, I imagine, like, you know how the Mind Flayer has, like, those tentacles in front of its face, right? It's sleeping, right? But you go up to it, and in the same way that you would, like, maybe play around with the cat's tail when the cat is sleeping... I want to go to a mind flayer while the mind flayer is sleeping and just play around with the tentacles in front of its face because I think that'd be really cute. Okay, now I can afford. Let's go. Tier 4 hull. Nice. Alright. More cargo space is the priority right now, which is why we saved up so much of this to be able to plant it right inside. As soon as we got the upgrades. Look at all that. Oh my god. Ooh, that feels so good. Look at that. We're still missing tons of bolts of cotton though, unfortunately. That's like the one big thing that we're always missing. Uh... Ooh, perfect. Engine. Engine slots. Let's get that. <gasps> Wait. Should we should not get engine slots? Not yet. The most important thing is rod slots, because that's the thing we need to upgrade in order to fit more of the uh, things. I forget what's called. How vividly can you picture stuff in your mind? I can't at all. So it's always interesting to hear others' perspective. I am. Uh, 
I forgot where I saw it, but I saw a thing where like, if you think of an apple, what do you see? And this is like an example of a whole bunch of apples. Um, I'm the type that can vividly see like an actual apple in front of me. When I think about an apple, I can see like the skin, the texture, the colors, um, the way that the light will reflect off of it. So like, uh, I'm the one that has like the vivid image of an apple. Um, I have a friend who is the complete opposite. They can only think of the concept of an apple, but they cannot visualize an apple. So when I talk, tell them about like, you know, like think of an apple, right? They'll be like, I know what an apple is. You know, that will be their response. But yeah, no thoughts head empty. Can you rotate it in your mind? Yes. I think it's kind of cool, but it's like, it's not like an apple that exists IRL, but it's like the culmination of all the types of apples. It, th this is going to be a bad way to describe it, right? But it's in my mind, it's like if you gave AI the prompt, draw me an apple and it would like draw that for you. Like, that's what I see. <laughs> A 3D preview, right? Exactly. But it's not a it's not a 3D preview of any specific apple. It's like the apple that I've seen. You know, like the the, the an am uh, amalgamation of all the apples I've seen together. You know, something like that. A caricature of an apple. Some, that's a good way to describe it, right? Like I can see it in my mind. I can turn it around, but. Um, if I were to try to find an apple that looked exactly like it, it probably does not exist. Can you change the art style? Yes. I can make it sketchy, I can make it charcoal, I can make it crayon. It's a little harder for me to turn those apples in my mind I cannot turn the crayon apple. I can turn the charcoal one though, because it's just shades of gray. But, uh, no, the crayon one doesn't turn in my mind. I more clearly saw a sketchy apple. Yeah, I think changing the, like, the medium, like the different art styles might help out too. I have a very difficult time with the crayon though, now that I think about it. My brain only thinks in images. Mm. Can you make the apple tell you that it's proud of you? <laughs> um, no, it just sits there on the table. <laughs> it is unable to say anything to me. It just kind of sits there. But maybe, maybe it's maybe it's proud on the inside, you know. <laughs> Four days remaining, about half of the crab trap. Let's check out these ones. Seven days remaining, a lot of the crab trap. We still have plenty of time before we need to come back and check on these. So we will go do some exploration. Let's head over to the Stellar Basin now that we have the Fathomless Winch. Let's go. It just sits there ominously. Love you, Shimmy. Ah, thank you. When you think of past memories, do you think in a first first person point of view or third person point of view? First person. I uh Yeah, it's actually all first person. Um Oh wait, wrong wrong way. Let's go this way. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to remember this uh, memory I have of my friends in college uh, after we had finished Roman uh, Ronin Academy. Ooh. Um, we went to a park and I... The memory I have is of us on the swings in the park, but in first person. Just swinging back and forth while just chatting. So yeah, it's in first person. By crayon, do you mean like ske making sketchy images in your mind? What do you think about the memories? Yeah. You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor 
except this one has a huge breach in one side. You're tied up alongside the old wreck. Let's look inside the cabin. You're in the cabin. Oh wait, we've already seen all these. Oh, they're whited out because we've already gone through all the options. Okay, never mind. It really does kind of look eerily similar to ours, doesn't it? Embarrassing past memories haunting me? Yeah, and when I remember them, I remember them in first person. Oh yeah. <laughs> the question's too hard for me to comprehend. I know it's a little bit difficult for people to conceptualize certain things. So don't don't feel um, like it's too difficult. It's just how how some things work. <gasps> it's the photographer. Um, hello. Sorry. Would you step out of the way for a moment? You're in my shot. You move to the side. A few seconds later, the photographer sighs in exasperation and mutters to herself, "No, this simply won't do." What's the matter? The angle of the lens is all wrong. I'll never get a close-up shot of anything with this. And the others, I fear they were lost overboard. She sighs again and looks off to the west. I was sailing from the Sailor Basin, you see, squeezing my boat through the narrow gap between islands, and then I crashed into some coral. I thought I heard something in the water behind me, so I dared not stop. If you were to retrieve the lenses for me, uh, let me see. She rummages through what few belongings survived the trip. I have a spare camera that I won't need. You're welcome to it, if you can find those lenses. I'll mark you on the map where you think I lost them. <gasps> we already know where they are, because we already have them in one of in our storage, so we'll come back here. We'll come back here in a bit. Okay. There we go. Ooh, uh, a bag of the blue? All right, now let's make our way to... How far are we? Halfway there. A unique new character, yeah! I never, I had not met them um, at this point when I played the game last time. <gasps> when I was young, I would thought people said picture this was a metaphor. I never thought they meant literally picture something because I was never able to. <laughs> Uh, I, I think figuring out that um, some people see things. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm completely off course. I think um, some of us, the fact that some people visualize things and other people don't has been a fairly recent uh, thing. I, I think it was like, I've only started seeing it more within like the past like seven or so years seven eight or so years so it's not common enough to have been say uh commonplace school education information that most people would get uh from their schooling Ooh, <gasps> it's like a gulper with red searchlights below its eyes the predator hunts with needle-like teeth its stomach can expand to hold prey larger than itself Ooh. Gulper fish are scary. Research has been more common lately with psychologists. Yeah. That's why I don't mind. That's why if mind readers existed, they would never work in practice. We would all think differently. Our inner thoughts would be incomprehensible to others. <laughs> Imagine if they have like, um, I don't know, like an Apple Type 1 mind reader and an Apple Type 2 mind reader. And like you have to, you have to properly select which mind reader you want to work with your team, depending on the target that you are going to read their minds. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, though, in a little way. Like everyone has like their own superpowers that they can use to like. What? What's with the music? Oh my god. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> Shark. 
Oh, it's a hammerhead. Oh, you are big, chunky. Yeah, I, I don't know where that, where that music came from, so I was uh, caught off guard a little bit. That looks like scrap metal. It's not the bolts of cotton that we need, unfortunately. <gasps> what? Wait, it's a popper. Oh. There's a skinny brown dog leaping around the shallows. Occasionally, it lunges at the water, snapping at small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. Disembark. You jump off the boat into thigh-high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Throw some fish towards the dog. It's skinny. It's skinny, so we need to give it some fish. We're talking about Aphantasia. It was first discovered in the 1800s, although I think you've been fine if you studied more about 2010, 2015. Yeah, the studying of it, I think, is a lot more recent. I want to throw some fish at the dog, and then I approach, just to say that it's okay. Because if I get close to it, and I have the food in my hand, I'm still a threat. So I want to give food at a distance to make it so that the fish, or the, the dog is able to eat the fish. Throw some fish to the dog. You throw some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and swallows seawater. Oh, I call for it. The dog wags his tail briefly, but does not move. Slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little ways. It sits. <gasps> okay, now we can throw some fish at the dog. You throw some scraps towards the dog, which land in the sand. The dog eats them along with a mouthful of sand. Slowly approach again. You start to walk closer to the dog, but it runs away nervously and hides in some bushes. After a moment, it emerges again. Okay, let's call for it. You make soft, encouraging noises, and the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just outside your reach. Now we put out some fish in our hand. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins licking at them. Pat the dog. <gasps> you reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand. It seems to understand you're not a threat. Oh. Pat the dog. You pat the dog again. It seems to be enjoying it. Oh. You pat the dog again. Keep patting the dog. Keep patting the dog. How many times can we pet the dog? Oh, Good dog. Good doggo. He's so cute. Oh, There's no one else around here that poppers us on their own. Alright. More, more pets. More pets. Very cute. Alright. We'll come back and we'll feed the we'll feed the pets. We'll feed the we'll feed the pupper with lots of pets and more fish. You make your way back towards the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. <gasps> it's coming with us. <gasps> it's coming with us. Let it follow you. You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. When he gets to the boat, you turn around to pull the dog on board. Oh! Oh my god, look, it's all curled up! A stray dog. It's curled up asleep, opening an eye occasionally to watch you move around the boat. Oh. So cute. You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Oh, cute. Whoa. What? 
Oh, what the? <gasps> no, it's taking all our food. Wait, horn. Oh no. Oh. Okay. It only took the loose jaws. That's fine, that's fine. Doggo is safe. Doggo is safe. Okay. The monster is back. I can see the tentacles wiggling around in the water. Should I risk it, Chad? I have a doggo on board, but should I risk it? Hmm. I think we can do it quickly. We just need to open up some space just in case to make sure that it can fit in. Like, this 3 by this 12 square right here should be enough, right? Okay. We got this, Chad. It's okay, it's okay. We'll be good. Generator. Let's turn it on. Three, two, one. Oh, excuse me. It's on the bear. They give her the super check. Give the dog a Scooby snack. Yes. All the Scooby snacks. All right, let's go. It's in the middle. Right here. And then start dredging. Come on. <gasps> Got it. And teleport. Back home. Ooh. Good. We have Doggo and the engagement ring. <gasps> The void creeps into whatever cavities it can. She said yes. What? This can be interpreted in two ways though. Like, it's, it's an engagement ring that she said yes, right? But then, right above it, it says, The void creeps into whatever cavities it can. Is it suggesting that... The she said yes part is... Not just the marriage, but it's also... The void. Let's find out. Ruined Dimension. You walk in and place the jewel encrusted ring on the table by the collector. His eyes widen. We're certainly making excellent progress now. And I think you know what I th wait, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you're due a reward. He opens the crimson book, its spine cracking audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read it aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. <gasps> Banish. Of blazing light. Ooh. You hear growling, crackling in your ears. Suddenly, your vision flares and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I think I have been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all matter of detritus swallowed by the silty muck at Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Hmm. I want to ask, now that we have some artifacts already collected, what will you do once you have all the relics? He ponders for a moment. It's surprising, isn't it? 
the attachments we hold towards simple objects, but they are anything but simple. Seemingly mute articles can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, you would be awash with forgotten memories. They hold the power to recall what was once lost. I know what he's saying. I know what he means by that. The power to recall one. The things once lost. It has to be his wife. It has to be. That's what he means, the, the power to restore one, something that one has lost. He lost his wife and now he's using the relics to get it back. But how? Something slithers into your cargo hold. <gasps> no, the pupper. Protect the pupper. Oh wait, sorry, was he on mute? I apologize. Oops. <laughs> sorry about that chat. <laughs> you must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? I don't understand why she's asking us that question because we're supposed to just be fishermen. The only reason we're here is because the city want, or this town was looking for an extra fisherman. I, I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't think I'm looking for anything, am I? Hmm. Her face softens. Remember that you are in control. If you're out of doubts, it's foolish to blindly persevere. You can always look for alternative paths. She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. Oh. Okay, the infection is only here on this loose jaw. Pupper is safe. Alright, let's go sell all of that. Ma'am, you seem to know more than you're letting on, right? Why can't they just tell us? Because it'd be so much easier if we all just knew. Pupper needs a home. Maybe with the lighthouse keeper? This is the first time we have the option to be honest and truthful to her. I've been finding relics for the collector. Relics? Collector? I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve with this character. Do you even know? Have you stopped to consider it? Does she know? Does she know who it is? She's so mysterious, right? Okay, hang on. I want to see if we can take the pupper over to the builder. Because she's been building her own little house over here on this island all by herself on Steel Point. That's the wife. <laughs> Maybe. I, mm, I don't think so. They're close enough that they wouldn't have really, like, fallen out of touch, right? Let's see if the builder could use, uh, some company. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. 
I've managed to set myself up now. Okay. I guess that's it. When you have time to talk about the new mayor, about the old mayor, you already did this but way back when you started. It's important foreshadowing for something later on. Oh, yeah. Let's go and, like, refresh our memory on some of the characters. Short. Shork. Oh, Shork. Uh, where's my lights? <gasps> ooh, ooh. Ooh, uh. Get out of there. <gasps> ooh. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, 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 Thank you, thank you. Sell the fish? I don't know what to do with the pupper. Where do we take the pupper? <laughs> the mayor. Uh, what happened to the last fisherman? Let's refresh ourselves on this one because we've read this already, but um, it's been a while, so. <laughs> hmm. The last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. Maybe one, one evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. I'd like to ask about the wider region. Certainly. Some par somewhere in particular you wish to know more about. Uh, the devil spine? Because I want to head up. I want to head back over there again. I guess quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst the city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there. However, and the ruins lie low in the water and surely tear out your hole. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Hmm. The next place we're going to be going to is to Twisted Strand, so let's ask him about the Twisted Strand. Hmm. I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed by thick fog even during the day. You'd want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you're exploring there. Fog and trees. Okay, it's good to know. Prepare for that. Any strange occurrences? Churches and respects, thank you for the super chat. Might have misremembered about who talked about the old mayor, but there's someone other than the lighthouse keeper who has more info. Ooh. Thank you for the super chat. I'll have to check around and see if we can find more information. Well, I heard that my counterpart in Little Mero met a most unfortunate end. They say he went mad quite suddenly. One day he was normal, and the next he was pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included, and those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. Most unpleasant subject. <sighs> what? Wait, what? My counterpart in Little Marrow met the most unfortunate end. Went mad suddenly. One day normal, and the next was pacing shortly, hurling people's belongings to the sea. And then he disappeared. In Little Marrow? Little... Little Marrow? Little Mer- wait. Ah. Ah. No. I need to know. I need to know. Hang on. Ooh. Boop. <gasps> I wait. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I need to- One day, he was fine. Then the next day, 
The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by the fear he sees. What? Sell trinkets. Wait. I want to talk to you about things, but oh my god. Mm. Put the pupper in storage for now, I guess. I thought there would be more because here on Little Marrow, we were talking, we were, we did a quest at the very beginning with the dock worker and he seemed completely fine one day and now his eyes are glazed over and he's just staring out into the ocean. Does no one else know what happened to the dock worker here? You'll find out more maybe. Maybe. I do want to. What is that? <gasps> what? Wait, no. What is that? Oh, no. Everything, everything I have is damaged. I don't want to. Wait, is that is that the thing? Oh, that must have been the research outpost signal. I think that's what it must have been. The little pulsing white light, because we're looking directly at it, like here. It must have been the research outpost that was like shining its beacon. That's what it must have been. Um, if you look at the top of the mast right here, that's the thing I was looking at right here. That little um, pulsing like blue circle thing. Yeah, doggo is safe as storage. Equipment broken, fishing effectiveness reduced. Oh, that's so cool. What? I didn't know this was a mechanic. Wow. If your equipment's broken, you can't play the minigame, but it still works. Yo, that's really cool. Never encounter that. You're probably be that's probably because you're a better player than I am, and I and you don't go crashing into things <laughs> and having all your equipment break. <laughs> Two hundred fifty. No, I I was like rushing to try to see if I could find out like was there a piece of lore that we didn't catch at Little Marrow because the mayor was like my counterpart over on the other, and it's like. I must know. I have to know. So I rushed and then damaged everything. <laughs> yes. Look at that super bright incandescent array. Let's go. Chad, I was like really excited to piece together some parts of the story. <laughs> The old mayor plotline does come back if you explore thoroughly, can lead you down a second ending path. Not on Little Marrow though. Ah. Thank you for the super chin chin just respects. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, fine, we'll sleep, we sleep. Sleep sleep. The weird shark will come again. Okay, yeah, the spooky one. Man, I want I want to sleep like this. I want to just like peacefully sleep for the whole day. All right. Let's go pick up some of the crabs because at this point, oh yeah, look at that. Let's take all of those. Take all of these. Oh my God, so many crabs. Where my days, rest days reveal. Yeah. I just want like, a weekend like a weekend from the weekend so like you go through your weekend right but before sunday ends you have oh my gosh look at all the crabs <laughs> so many crabs 350 dollars worth of crabs a weekend for the weekend just so that 
you can calm down from the vibes of the weekend and then just kind of bring yourself back to like prepare to go back to work. I think that would be amazing. A vacation? A vacation for your vacation. Considering how much salsa stuff I crammed into my weekend, I totally understand. Yeah. There's a new character that they added after the update. Oh yeah, we saw her. Uh, the photographer. We stopped by her island. And we will, when we get the chance, we're going to go back and drop off the, the camera that she, that she had dropped. Jen, with the 3D weekends will be much better. I 100% agree. Especially for someone like me, who's more of an introvert. Um, whenever I have like a weekend where I go out with my friends and like we all hang out and you know go to the bars and party and all that stuff, um, I feel exhausted. So I need like a whole day on its own, just to kind of recoup and bundle up, and just kind of rest from that experience. Which is why I think like there's gotta be a weekend for a weekend, you know. That's what I want. Three hundred dollars of crabs. I work ten hour shifts so I get three days off, it's nice. Ooh, nice. Trade offs, I suppose. I get that same, right? Have a rest for the rest. Exactly. I am so impressed at people who are able to do like an amazing whole weekend full of friends. And then right afterwards, just go straight back to work. I can't do that. Like, how? How do you have the power to... The ability to just, like, pick up and start up all over again, you know? Like, I need to recharge my batteries before I can go back to work. Spite and willpower. <laughs> A holiday without social media would be the hardest for me. Addiction. I feel that I have done a couple of times, um, like camping uh, with my friends where we'll be out in a place where it's intentionally far away that we can't have any signal. But the problem is like, as soon as I get back, I feel this urge, this rush to go back and try to catch up on social media, on everything that I've missed, you know, over the three days or two days that I haven't gone camping, you know? And that, I know I shouldn't, but I have that desire, that urge, like the, the compulsion to do so. And that causes me to get exhausted even more. The FOMO, yeah, the real mood. Mm. Like, I know logically that, you know, if it's important enough that I should know about it, I will know about it when I get back, you know? I know logically, but alas, not everything works out logically. Emotions and all those silly brain chemicals making you feel things. All right. Now that we've tried a whole bunch of crabbing here, let's go and try some deep ocean crabbing. Because I think we'll get better results or like even more lucrative stuff by like Ocean crab, deep ocean crabbing. Six meters, seven meters, eight meters. No, let's go someplace deeper. Like here. The deep oceans. 7.5 meters, eight, nine. Oh, 20 meters, but there's only a few crabs. Or maybe that's what they want you to know. They'd be like, oh, there's there's definitely no crabs here. It's only a few. But what if the few crabs here are like really valuable crabs? <sighs> Deep sea crabs, right? And because we have the, the fancy buckets, they last for a whole week. So even if there are few crabs, we can leave them over here for the entire week and then try to capture. Oh, I gotta get home. I gotta get home. Um, we can leave them here to just capture the deep sea crabs for a while. The mouth will catch them. Yeah, the mouth. Shark. Shark. 
pitchfork. Ooh, get out of here, get out of here. Oh my god. Okay. Do you hear that horn? It sounds so off. I don't like it. Okay. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna go. Okay. You can see the silhouette of that giant angler fish, like right there. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's so creepy. I love the the sound design of the game. Right. One of my favorite sound parts is the ambient sound of uh, the trader, the trader's uh, little Bowie thing. I don't know what you call those, a little trading post that floats around. I love the ambient noises in there. Can we make your horn as well? Yeah. That's a fish? Yeah, that's a fish. That's a... That's a fish pretending to be a boat to try to trap you. Shark. Trophy. Alright, let's go sell this real quick. I played the game with noise cancelling headphones for a while. The immersion is crazy. Ooh. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. I would love to try that. Be completely immersed in it. 164. $2,400? <gasps> All right. So, with $2,400, what I want to do is I want to head back over to the trader outpost and then buy a bunch of research parts from her because the research parts will come in handy as we go to upgrade our stuff. Avoid those. There we go. Wait, excuse me. Have you seen more Eldritch mon monsters? We saw like a really big kraken um, underwater with tentacles that like ripped out of the water to attack you. We saw that. But beyond that, not too much more. What are the red mists for? It's a way to drain your sanity. So if you look at the very top of the screen, there's an eyeball. Um, the redder the eyeball is, the lower our sanity is. And the lower our sanity gets, um, the more dangers and eldritch horrors start to affect our ships, not just hallucinations, but becoming more real, like ghost sharks that will rip through the water and attack you, or uh, like the, the summoning the, the red uh, water spouts that will attack you, and a whole bunch more. All right, shipyard here. I want to go. Abyssal Hadel, Abyssal Hadel. Hmm. And the big one I canyon fish as well. Oh yeah. Ah, here we go. Got a research part here. And then let's check out the floating uh, dog. It's 2 a.m. Gotta go to sleep so I can go to work. Good night everyone. Have fun with me. Thank you for stopping by, random winky thing. Hope you have a wonderful night. Get lots of rest. Bolts of cotton. Scraps and lumber. Lumber. Bolts of cotton. So basically all of them except for... We don't need any more uh, refined metal, which is nice. Because I think that is the one that costs the most. Hmm... If that's north, this island here looks like a Y shape. I wonder, can we find a Y shaped like island without needing that third piece? There's a lot over here, but I don't know. A lot of fragments. No, I don't think the shapes line up. They'd actually be different. 
No, I don't see like a obvious Y shape that would fit that paper. So I guess we'll have to come back to it later. All right. Why don't we go float around here? Because I know that there's a little uh, spot where there are shipwrecks. So we can go grab some water, or sorry, not water. We can grab some wood, wooden planks and scraps right around here. Perfect. Oh, <gasps> bolts of cotton. Nice. Ah, oh, it's just one though. And then some scraps. Eldritch koi patches are usually it's, what, it's usually something else. It would have something like to your but content warning, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I cannot read and do a mini game at the same time. All right, let me just do this real quick. All right. There we go. Got some scrap. Nice. Now let's pick up some wood. Wait. And then... Perfect. I'm a little sad we only got one of each. I thought there would be a bit more, but that's okay. We can go through it here. Zoom, zoom. Any more around here? There's some scrap here. I hope we can find some bolts of cotton, because that seems to be the one that we are most uh, low on. Uh-oh. I think we can take one hit from the fish. Uh. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's a big hit, but that's fine. Uh, we, we have the bolts of cotton. Okay, now we can just, just gotta get out of here. Ooh, ooh, sparkles. No, no, no. Get back, just go back, just go back. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's head back home. I don't know what that was, but something like tried to slither into my cargo hold, but I had no, no fish in here, so I could not. Distracted by sparkles, chat, my brain is a magpie. I, I see shiny things and I want to go, go look at it. Alright, let's take all this out here. Wood, a bolt of cotton. Let's go repair everything. And what I want to do is I want to take this camera equipment out because it's actually pretty chunky. Popper can always stay, but this is chunky. So I want to go deliver this away to the photographer. And that way it'll clear up that one two by two square and give us more chances to put in like another piece of scrap or something. Photographer's Island was down so eerie whenever it does that. Photographer's Island was around south, I believe. <gasps> Sparkles. Yeah. Alright. I think it was one of these two islands. I think it was this bigger one over here. So let's go ahead that way. Relatable. That's where the paper comes from. I don't know. I want to find out. Ooh, get away from the red sp spooky stuff. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> get dodged. This is the campsite, okay. Well, let's just go ahead and sleep here. That way we don't have to worry about uh, the ghost shark again. We Your streams are always so comfy for me to fall asleep to. Thank you. 
Love to hear that. Vote on Matrix style. <laughs> Alright. Excuse me. Alright, so it's not this island. It must be this one. Where the photographer had set up camp and is looking for... Oh, I think it is. It looks like it, yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. You have the lenses. Oh, I do hope they've not been damaged by the seawater. She takes the case from you and inspects each lens carefully. They seem mostly unharmed. Nothing that some careful polishing couldn't remedy, at least. <sighs> camera. You should take my spare camera. The lens is nothing special, but allows you to capture some good shots. Want some advice on locating wildlife to photograph? Just say the words. Large fish. I suspect you're more knowledgeable about this particular than I am. There's a few shark species around, most notably the whale shark. They prefer to warmer waters around the stellar basin. Completely harmless, as I'm sure you know, but do be careful around them. Wouldn't want your propellers causing them any injury. She's worried more about the shark than me. Oh, This is true, you do have to watch out for that so you don't accidentally hit the hit sea life with propellers. Okay, I see the crabs over here, but we're not going to go check them out yet. Starlight pontoon. Guess now we can just head over top to the Twisted Strand. Shark mama. Whale sharks, aren't they like the really big sharks that are just like super peaceful? All they do is just kind of vibe. Oh. <gasps> A viper fish. Ooh. Hovering in wait above the sea floor, these long fish bite and attempt to swallow whatever random prey they encounter. Not sure they're actually sharks. Are they just whales? Biggest and super sweet. Ah. Okay. I don't think we actually need too many of these. Um, if I remember, there was the researcher at the old fortress who was looking to collect a few abyssal and hadal fish I think we can go collect now that we have the tools at least uh, we can go grab those no those are snappers putadings whale shark or gentle giants Ah, gentle giants are the best totally not biased <laughs> they only eat krill oh but more teeth than other sharks so they just look intimidating but they're actually super sweet Ooh, come on give me some of that scrap metal yeah let's put you here I'm just gonna do some tetris Awesome. Oh, there's more. Wait, no. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a gentle giant? Maybe. Maybe. Super late, so I'm gonna bend. Good night, everyone. Run, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you get lots of sleep. Sweet dreams. Good rest. To the rest of your week's beginnings. No, I missed one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Angler fish. Let's see if we get... Oh! Trophy. Ooh. 49 centimeters. All right. Let's see if we can go drop by the researcher because the researcher had wanted... can't go underwater. Okay. 
It's it just looks like blue squiggles, honestly. Oh, it's just actually like it's literally. It's <laughs> oh no, that was really loud. It's literally just like a, a Steam screenshot that you can take. It's really pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I love the colors. Pokemon Snap. <laughs> That's so cool. I want to see it change color when it like when you get too close and it gets agitated. Ooh. Oh my god. That's so like the way that all the blue dims and turns like dark and then it goes red. Oh, that's so cool. Got the Kraken. I think it may be. I'm not sure. It's not sticking its head out of the water, but it's like there-ish. It's really eerie. Let's go grab some wood while we're here. Mesmerizing, yeah. Searcher. <coughs> hey, excuse me. The air is dry here. I wonder if I'd use it to attract ships, right? Like a sparkly lights underwater. Alright, let's see. Anglerfish. Whoa. Right, I'm good. <laughs> Let's give you the trophy one. And then... Loose jaw, giant amphipod. Snailfish? Uh-oh. We don't have those, unfortunately. <clears throat> Bless you, thank you. Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, okay. I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Ironhaven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year. Or the year before. Or the year before that. It's hard not feeling like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society. Then, well, I was posted here, by myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Out here, it's just machines. Chat, <gasps> <gasps> chat, we can, <gasps> we can, oh my god, oh my god, oh. Popper, popper. Researcher. This dog needs a home. Do you want it? A dog? Oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yes, you should date the dog. Oh. Oh. Look. Oh my god. Oh, the doggo has a bone now. Yes, thank you. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. 
Oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours, if you want it. <laughs> the dog just puked up a sapphire ring. <laughs> Can I just say this is the silliest way I've seen this game give like quest rewards and just by having the dog puke it up. <laughs> the developer's like, you know what? After this point, the player should get some kind of reward, right? How do we make it seem like seem natural? Like we can't have the researcher give away her research, right? That's not a reward. Plus it wouldn't make sense, right? Because she's researching. And someone's like what if the dog just pukes up a ring? And they were like, perfect. We'll we'll put it in there. We'll we'll that's the that's how you get the reward for the finishing the side quest. <laughs> the dog, this is for you. And then like a ring comes out. <laughs> Thank you for the ring. <laughs> I can clean the rest up. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh my Kokoro. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> that was really cute. Washed in the sea, yeah. Man. I wish we could have seen like the puppy because the last time we saw the puppy, there was like a little pupper model on the beach but I don't see a model here, unfortunately. Oh, But it's so cute. I hope you have a good time with your new family, doggo. Oh, Cute. Oh! I thought I heard the dog barking. Oh. I thought I heard a dog barking as I swam past it. That's cute. The puppy is Axel. <laughs> it's the sexy Onechan and Axel, finally. Alright, let's go see if we can find some of the more abyssal and hadal fish that the, the researcher needs. <clears throat> Coastal, no. <gasps> Another shark. Uh, we don't actually have space to hold this shark. It's too big. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to make this work. Uh, yeah, we only have 10 squares. <clears throat> so we'll have to leave you alone here. Let's go check out the other places around here. Oh my gosh, the coral looks so pretty. Shallow waters? Nope. Axel's dream has been fulfilled. <laughs> I think those are it, chat. Those are the ones that swim in the the um the Hadal regions. So I think what we gotta do is play the music really loud and scare the Kraken away. And then once we scare it away, then we can go check out those. Like, see, look at this one. What are you? Oh, ooh. A gulper eel. Whoa. Few humans have ever seen this eel. Its great gulping jaw can open wider than the length of its body. Spooky. I just realized uh, I do want to go pick up those up pick up those fish but we don't have enough space so we're gonna have to go find a way back out again <gasps> cute that's a chalky shark look at it oh that's so cute is that one that she needs no she needs a snail shark and then or snailfish and then a, I forget, a lockjaw. We lost a few of those though, but we can find those again. An absolute unit, yeah. All right, let's head, oh, 
not this, not the camera. Let's head back home and sell off all of. Ooh. What is that? Ah. Uh, the rot. Huh. Oh no, we lost the ring. We'll we'll come back here later when we have more space. I think what we'll do next is we'll just go and drop off all the things that we have. And then I think we'll call it for tonight. Oh, wait, cotton, cotton, bolts of cotton. We absolutely need to get, get these. These are like the rarest things that we need. Hey, you still on? Yeah, unfortunately I think um, I'll be Ending it stream right here. Or not here, but like in just a couple minutes. Because uh, I am feeling a very a bit tired. I think we made some pretty good progress today so far. We've managed to unlock the biggest hull ship. Get some of the late end game lighting and tools. So tomorrow, let's try to see if we can make some good progress on completing uh complete the game maybe or as much as we can hopefully three hundred dollars not bad not bad shipwright uh no dry dock let's see ah <gasps> cargo space let's get this in first upgrade perfect and now we can start filling in these over here, we need some cotton. Gracie! Thank you so much for being up with the membership. Thank you for the chill times. Lots of love. Thank you, thank you. One more thing. I know, chat. I'm so sorry, but I just. We, we're here. We might as well. Look, let's get this thing finished, you know. Like, let's. You, you should be. You should, know what to, you should know what to expect this at this point, chat. <laughs> All right, what do we need? Bolts of cotton. Bolts of cotton, we need one more. And then over here is scrap, wood, and one more wood. And then we don't actually need these anymore, so we can get rid of all the scrap. Because we will have finished all the thing. The only thing we need is one bolt of cotton. And over here, one piece of wood. And then we will have finished all the upgrades. <sighs> Let's go. All right, let's go repair. Let go put the ring away in here. All right. All right, now we're done. Now we're done. Okay. We should go get the fish. We should get the. We should get the crabs, though. No, no, we shouldn't get the crabs. We'll we'll get the crabs tomorrow. We'll get the crabs tomorrow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, we're done. We're done. All right, chat. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go to the outro scene real quick, just so that it forces me to end it. Okay, here we go. Wait, hold up. Have I been muted the whole time? Have I been muted the whole time? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I was saying, uh, thank you all for stopping by. We made a lot of progress. It took us a bit to get caught up on the thing, but I think we got a good handle on progress now. So, 
Uh, I was, yeah, I was saying that I want to send you off on a raid, but I don't see anyone who's currently streaming. So I think I'll just send you over to Altair's waiting room tomorrow at 6 a.m. I guess not 6 a.m. It's in like six hours from now, five and a half hours from now. So <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right. I will see you all tomorrow. And I'll send you over to Altair's waiting room for only up at 6 a.m. So, Koyasumi, everybody. Koyasumi.